Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, but not tonight. <laughs> it's 1983 Part 3. Ooh. And we've bypassed all the games that don't have a month. Uh, we did two episodes of games yes. where I didn't know what the month was, or the day, or anything. No release date, just sometime in 1983. Yeah. But tonight, we're... Got a cat. <laughs> all of a sudden started getting whiny. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be playing a January through M March. <laughs> meowing at the lights. Um, <laughs> he might be a little... Um, out of it. High. <laughs> He, he, he went to the vet today and um, uh, had his little snip, so um, uh, he's a little... You can see he's doing pretty well, though. There's no there's no cone on him. He was not acting like this until just now. Just right now, he knew the camera turned on. You, you, what's up, baby? What's going on? Oh, my goodness. Calm down. So he had some parts removed. Yeah. But, but he's, he's doing very well. He's fine. He, it's like nothing happened. He yeah, just left no this morning. No cone. Yeah. We just have to make sure, you know, the incision and <laughs> everything is, is okay. But, yeah. So far, yeah. so good. Good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have some great games tonight because uh, the first two shows of it, 83 were kind of the games that had less information about them. Hey, I'm trying to do a show here. <laughs> Are, oh, <laughs> do you want to do the intro? He's doing the intro for you. Okay, here's the paper. Can you read that? You're not saying anything now. <laughs> See, he, he says he Aww. wants to do it, but then when you push comes to shove, he's not. Yeah. He's not Aww. doing it. Oh, he's being a cute guy, um, But we have a bunch of games tonight, and there's a bunch <laughs> of good ones. And I think the ones with no date on them were probably a bit more obscure, a bit less information about them. No less about the companies. No less about the companies. Yeah. Uh, so maybe not as good. Uh, it's random. <laughs> yep. The start time, Vitoko says. Yeah. Um... Uh, Vitoko says, did this stream start one hour earlier? Eh, I just scheduled him. Whenever is convenient <laughs> for us. No, it started right now. Yeah, 7 o'clock, right our now. time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we have a bunch of games. Atari 2600, 1983, Part 3. Yes. I have some uh, on cartridge, six of them. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, so thanks for <laughs> tuning in, and thank you to all the subscribers, which include Al in the Fur, Arkham H, Arm Scar, Coder, Atari, 800XL, Rules, Atari, 1974, Atari H, Atari Pack Quest, Patch Quest, BR Pocock, Buck Owens, Burl Lives, Kefman, 2D, Carl's Madruga, Charles and Jack, Charles Wynn, Co Coconut 81, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, Dianoid, Dan WC, Drexel, Dark Mook, House, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Azure Rapper, Johnny Nitro, Johnny WC, Computer JR, Kabuto JRM, Carl G. Ken Jennings Invader, Kev Kelly, Lauren TT Zen, Mark Yandis, Mark Spissing, Mac Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Latell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Sunwood, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Stormback, or VG Korog, R. Anschwitz, R. 7E, Rent, Rendered Ghost, Apprentice VG, Ricardo Pim, Rodcaster, Six, six Sweet, Smitty B, uh, Smiceware, S. Ramirez, The D, Train the Welshman, T. Dan K, T. M. Vance, Trek MD, X. Ken X. And you can subscribe too if you like. Like Charles Wheel and Dead Six Sweet did just Yay. before the show started. It's free with Amazon Prime. Just hit subscribe and you can hear your name read out in an exp exasperated voice very rapidly. <laughs> very, very quickly. Often incorrectly. What games are we playing tonight? We are playing 1983 Part 3, January through March. Uh, you will find out what games. And just like GopherMan96, just subscribe. Thank you, thank you GopherMan96. Glad you are enjoying the show. Yes. Um, so the forums are back up. They were down for a day. Yeah. And a tiny bit. They came up back up this morning, early this morning. Um, and so let's see what people said about the games that we're playing today. Oh. People said things. Yeah, because I post the list of games. Oh, nice. Thomas Yant said, that's a much better list than the last one. Yeah, the last one was a little rough. How are you going to present light game guns? Light gun games. Yeah. Um, there's none tonight. There's only one light gun game okay. that was ever made. Uh, that was oh, ever really? released okay. officially for the 2600. Yeah. Uh, we'll be using Stella and a mouse for that. Um, I do have a gun, and I do have the setup for it, because I can use a CRT and point the camera at the CRT. <laughs> um, but we're going to reserve that for when we do the Vectrex mm. and the Light Gun Homebrew Show. Mm. Um, 
That's me. Uh, Dan says, good lineup. Was wondering if you're going to be showing Porky's from 20th Century Fox. Ah. It's not offensive. It's based on the movie. The only dirty part of the game was the shower scene. The movie is R-rated, though. Yeah. I've installed the pixelated uh Oh, uh, I see. Plug -in. Software, yes. Software. Yeah. It's more of a blur. Mm. Kind of pixelated. So we're going to play around with that when we play Porky's. It's nothing to see anyway, mm. so it's not that bad. Uh, 2600 says Centipede Miss Pac-Man are brilliant games as well made ports of the original very good games actually Reactor is one of my all time favorites mm. though I would have to rank it in my top 5 of all time hmm. we didn't know how to play it last time really we are playing the trackball version I should have oh, read the instructions I, see. I, see. I know now how to play it whether we're going to be good at it I don't know yeah. the gameplay is so solid once getting used to it even though the graphics are bare minimum truly underrated gem that doesn't get the hype mm. but we're going to try and hype it tonight Parker Brothers really knocked it out of the park with this one. Uh, Dave M says, as the guy who transcribed the sub-scan instructions for Atari Age database, I almost feel a legal obligation to watch tonight. <laughs> is he here? Oh, there he is. Dave, Dave M. AZ said hello. He said. Uh, some scratch quirks with a couple of hidden gems. that will hopefully save a bit of time. Tax scan uses paddles. I think I have that written down. Yeah. I do. In the excellent, right port. Excellent, excellent. In the right port. Oh, we've got the ports in there too. Oh, Very good. yeah. That helps. There it says, but the paddles have to plug in the right port. Yeah. The left difficulty on switch of Revenge of the Beefsteak Tomatoes gives you infinite lives if set to B, which is standard. So we'll just leave it infinite lives. Four lives set to A. And for some reason, the cartridge starts up on variation six. It's a good default game variation, but why not make it game one? Yeah, that's weird. Uh, and Johnny WC, uh, John Shampo says, uh, as others have said, Miss Pac-Man, mm -hmm. Centipede, and Reactor are the standouts in my opinion. Other favorites include Frankenstein's Monster. We played that before on Halloween. Okay. It is also very good. Mm -hmm. Multiple levels of things to do. Uh, <clears throat> Sequest, which is an Activision game, also fun. Mm -hmm. uh, really good game i've also always enjoyed in star wars jedi arena i'm really looking forward to that one yeah, it's a two-player game one at all so yeah two-player game with lightsabers really and that thing that oh moves the, around, the, 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 the training, the training ball. ball yeah nice. it looks really cool i don't think i've played it with two players mm. honorable mentions for crazy climber shooting gallery and tron deadly discs top pick is easy uh miss pac-man miss pac-man sure um, so looking forward to playing all those great games. So there's a good, a good uh, bunch yeah. in here. Oh, yay, everybody here on a Wednesday. Yeah. Actually, yeah, a bunch of people tuned in. Yeah. Welcome. Yay. Uh, that's good you're here for today because there's some good games yeah. today. <laughs> Thank goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, I think that's it. Let's dive into it. Uh, first one up is Tron Deadly Discs. Okay. And we have played this before. Yes, we have. In various uh, forms. Uh, forms. Yep. So this is from January 9th, 1983. Actually, I have to get the um, stopwatch up. Just one second. Take me get that 20 going. seconds. Set. Clear. Boom. It's on the screen. Not yet. Because I always have to tell it where, to, where it is for some reason. It's like, I don't know where it is. Click away from it. There we go. Perfect. And it's cropped perfectly, too. Okay. No, no. <laughs> what are you He's doing? He's going after the lights. I don't know. High? He is a very high cat right now, I think. <laughs> he was playing with his water bowl for about 20 minutes, just splashing. Both paws fully immersed in the water, going splash, 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 splash. About 20 straight minutes. I'm like, I think he's high. <laughs> yeah, but it didn't. Oh, come here. Yeah, that's, that's true. He was 20 out straight minutes of him splashing his he's hypnotized yeah yeah, yeah. he, is. he, loves he definitely lights. is coming down from his um you would come to yeah. burning man with us yeah He'd love it <laughs> He'd love it okay i'll oh. start the timer oh kid oh baby cat sorry's like what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> sniffing sniffing him okay yeah he's like don't touch that start up the game this is, oh. oh, you got hit right away. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Get those guys, get the doors. Oh, I've forgotten how this works. There we go. You can press a button to shoot it, press a button to recall it. So don't press it again ah. if you want it to keep going. Um, so this is from M Network, as you can see from the non stackable cartridge, uh, made by Jeff Ron. And is there no sound? Maybe it's really low. Let me. Ugh. Oh, 
There we go. Oh, that's too much sound. Too much sound here, too ah. much sound for you ah. guys. Ah. <laughs> You're pink. You're all pink. Uh, nostalgic says, I'll have what Sprite's having. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. oh. That wasn't very good. <laughs> uh, cartridge number MT5662, um, also known as Deadly Discs, I guess a truncated Can you hit the version of the name. Me? Thank you. Oh, Sorry. Dead already. Oh, I just, just. Oh, it doesn't like that it. reset. Oh, my goodness. Ah, right away. Oh, I know why. I'll have to do something in the middle of the screen. That makes this better. Sorry. No, I can't there see. There uh, Released January 9th, 1983. Very fun game. <sighs> lots of uh, gameplay going on. There's lots of enemies. Shoot that last door. Oh, you recalled it too early. You to, oh, you're turning them yellow. Okay. Ah! More guys! Getting better. Yeah, you just gotta... I'm gonna shoot the doors, too. Oh, dead. My Terrible. turn. Press reset. <laughs> Press reset, please. My turn. Poor Sprite. Oh, ow! Ow! <laughs> what the... Can you press reset, please? <laughs> I'm going too close to them. I think you are. You need to keep your distance. Too close to the sun. The chunking resolution makes the gameplay seem faster than the Intellivision. Kathy Man TD says. The chunking resolution? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rage reset! <laughs> uh, that one was. Well, yeah, well, you died. Be, rage would be in the <laughs> middle of a game. Yeah. That would just be a normal reset. Rage is like, I'm losing, please reset it. Yeah. I don't want to even bother keep playing the game. Yeah, you're right. It's You get distracted. And you don't want to... Oh my god, their discs are fast now. Oh, come on. I hate it when you accidentally pull it. Yeah. Whoa! Did you get life back at any point? Ah, damn it. Oh, you should look. They don't have to recall their, no. um, their shots. They just get a new disc. She's gonna die soon. Get off my tail, the cat said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ah, I recalled it too early. No! Oh my god, that was close. I don't know how you didn't... The green kind of is hard to see, too. It is. On the gray? It's terrible. Bad color combination. Oh, oh I got gained some one. Life. You nice. got some life back there. One more door. I think you do that so that they don't have that as an option to come out of. To come out of? They have to come out of... Uh, just... A new space. <gasps> oh! oh! It's doing really well. Okay. Um, 30 seconds left. We'll keep going. Come on. There we go. Yeah, the green, green wars are hard to see. Must be stealth mode. Oh, they, might have, they might have thought of that. It's like, oh, it makes it harder. Yeah. Looks nice on the 2600. I think it does, actually. It's, it's it very seems good to translation. play really well. Yep. Seven oh. seconds. But it's a fun game. It is a fun game, but we got lots, lots of fun games today. Is that tracking me? That looked like it was tracking me. <laughs> okay, here Maybe you go. It was. A plus, really good game. Uh, next one's Guardian by Apollo, and it uses paddles. So if you could hold on to the paddles, mm -hmm. please. I don't have this cartridge. The gates, right? I uh, I think I don't know what they're called either. Do they appear in this version? The gates? Do the you have gates. to? Huh? The gates in what? In in that game. Oh. Recognizers. Uh, that's what it is. Oh, I don't Ready. think so. But we didn't play long enough or do well enough. <laughs> Very true. See you? No, it's me. Um. 
What is it, Guardian? Shoot it! This? Shoot everything! Oh, oh, those are nice Earths. Wow. What is um, By Larry Martin. I don't know how to play this game, so shoot everything. Or shoot the things that are coming down, I guess. Cause I think you tried to shoot. Oh my shoot. god. It's like harder than it seems. Very sensitive, huh? I get it. Uh, released January 23rd, 1983, uh, cartridge AP 2008, also known as Cosmic Combat. Very good graphics on those Earth that Earths at the bottom. Very nice. And the UFO at the top, nice too. That's about it. It's a, other than that, it's a Fairly kind of simple plain, game. O, plain old I'm shooter. Sure was... <gasps> bats. Gotta have bats in every game. Looks like this would have been easier with a stick than paddles. The way she's moving, it does look like it would be easier it's, with a stick. It's, it's, it's so shifty. It's very precise and jumpy. Could also be my paddle. This paddle's been pretty good. I agree. Do you have to hold it down to a shoot? A little bit. Yeah. To like charge up your laser. Come on! Ugh. Oh! Oh, there's a, uh, oh, I'm frozen. a shield. Oh, it's so bad right now. And and then you freeze. Uh, oh my god, this is so hard. Oh, you can get more than one. Oh, why am I not moving? Why, what, what is going on? It's like, when you first shoot, it doesn't shoot right away. You have to charge it up. It goes from know. white to red. Try shoot. Kind of. See? Oh, no. you got your shield back. It's weird. It's weird. Okay, you have to play this. <laughs> it's it's not the easiest to get it precise. I can hear you pressing the button, and then it takes half a second for the laser to Sometimes. Start. Not always. Oh, now it's fast. It doesn't really have, a, a like, an indicator for your laser. <sighs> You need a stable paddle, not a jittering one. It is very jittery. I think it's the game. I think it is the game. Because this paddle set has been amazing throughout all of these games that we've been playing. Except for this game. Is it getting my earths? Don't get my earths! What's the name of this one? Uh... Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. Can you There's strafe? no way. No, no, you have to stop and shoot. Oh. This I one's don't, called. I don't know how you do, this one, do that. This one's called Guardian, aka Cosmic Combat. Yeah, forget it. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's very hard. So let's see how this panel is. It's just really touchy. Like you, you have well, to and barely you can't move. move it. You can't move when you're shooting. No. So you're stuck in one spot. So when it gets fast, I don't even know how you do that. Like, when it starts to move really fast, you can't strafe across the, the screen. Very precise. Yeah, you have to be really precise. I'm trying to, like, not hold it too long. Yeah. I've tried, I tried that too, but sometimes it doesn't... It doesn't yeah. zap up right away. It's It almost... Um, sometimes it zaps quick, sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's very, very hold slow. Hold it down sometimes. Very strange. And there's yeah. no indicator of, like, oh, your laser's low. Yeah. Like misfires all the time. Bit of kaboom, kind of. Uh, kind of. Oh, that's a super rare one, isn't it? Oh, oh probably. Um, the by the company that makes cool-looking carts. I don't know. Um, Apollo. It? Yeah, they make okay carts. Yeah. Next one's Crypts of Chaos. That's oh. interesting. Just a reflex. Ready. There we go. Sounds cryptic and chaotic. Ooh. Oh, I have to. I have to play this. Oh, okay. It's you know how to play it. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Twentieth Century Fox, released well February first, nineteen eighty-three.
by John W.S. Marvin. And that's all you have here. Sometimes Crips there's not cats. much info. It looks so like, um... Your walk... Your dungeon walk. crawling it's, yeah, RPG. It's a dungeon crawler. It's, yeah. It's... So you have various weapons. This is like a projectile weapon that I've got. You can also s set it to sword. So this is the sword, but you don't have much range. So you have to wait till it gets close. You are but really more... lumbering along, yes. <laughs> but the sword's more powerful. 3D maze. But, but way more riskier. There's also um, some other weapons. This one, which destroys everything on the screen. Mm. So you have to press down and left and right to choose your weapon. Mm. And press mm. up for forward to move forward. Mm. And it's a straight line until you get to a mm. path, a fork in the road. Mm. But mostly it's a lot of straight lines. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Uh, is it? I don't know. It seems like an early maze dungeon yeah. fighting game. It's got some. So it's got the elements of, of. So there's a path. Games that came later. Yeah. And then you go all the way to. Oh, I have to fight first. And you have to go all the way to the left to turn left. Oh, I see. Now I've turned left. And I go forward. A little chunky then. <laughs> it's a little chunky. But it's hard to do 3D mazes. Yeah, it is. So it is. So that doesn't really. Do certain weapons work better against certain enemies? Uh, Quite possibly. Yeah, and you can run out. Mm. Come on, I can't turn. No, nope. can't turn that way. Maybe you can only go one way? Maybe. Oop, can't turn that way either. What? Interesting. Turn! Turn! <laughs> turn! It's not turning. Uh, do you have to press forward or no? Oh. I can turn around. around around again. Um, oh. oh, I had to put it on a weapon. Oh. He got you? No, I got him, but I accidentally put it on... Um, mm. Maybe I wasn't right at the end. It, it's weird because the monsters just come like far off in a distance, but I'm at the end of a hallway. Yeah. Which doesn't quite make it's, sense. It's like it's manifesting into the space. It's not actually coming from far off. <laughs> yeah. So let's just turn Funny. around. Funny. And you can't move while there's a monster. Yeah. I mean, makes the gameplay easier, I guess. Oh, here comes another makes monster. It's harder, because if you're like doing stuff and you're in the menu system, and then... Uh, Okay, let's turn around again. That looks like the end, right? I've hit a wall, I can't move anymore. There, I've turned one direction. There we go. So I've turned 90 degrees, Sounds now like I can Sounds like he's riding walk. on a motorcycle. <laughs> and supposedly there's like, uh, treasures you can get as well. Oh god. The points... Oh my god, it's getting, killing me, no! My points are on the top right, and my health is in the left. And I have half my health left. Gotcha. Health. 55%? Is that what it is? Or? Yeah. 55 out of 100. I mm. think it started at 99. Come on. Go forward. There we go. It's it's kind of chunky. Yes. The movement kind of <laughs> works with the, the strip coming towards I, I you. Don't, I don't think it looks terrible. Um, the monsters are pretty basic. <laughs> Yeah. They could have I done a little bit been... more with the monsters, I feel, but... Yeah. Here you go. Oh. No, you're not playing. Time's up. I know, I just <laughs> don't want to get killed. Next one is Revenge of the Beefsteak Tomatoes. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Mm -hmm. It's uh, interesting. I always enjoy food-themed games. By 20th Century Fox. Made by John Russell. Also called Revenge of the Cherry Tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. Okay, I have to play this one because it's also very complicated. <laughs> Fair enough. Do you know okay. how to play? You're the little dude. Oh, I think uh, we played a similar game. And uh, we or this played a hack of it. A hack of it, yeah. And then you you shoot 
the colors. So I can shoot like a green one and then I build the green wall right over here. Oh, did I lose it? I must've lost it. And you have to shoot the things growing from it as well. So I can shoot a yellow wall, which I probably don't want to do actually, because now I can't build a green wall there. The green wall. Might as well just play a little bit. And then I'll put one there. I'll shoot these plants that are growing. Oh, it's a I very want that green one. Complicated uh, system. Oh, I can move around, so that's fine. I can move around the yellow one. Yeah. So now that I've built the green one there, I can build a yellow one there. Or purple. purple. Uh, yellow one. There we go. Oh. Oh, and I have to go around and shoot. <gasps> oh. Shoot them, not run into them. And the beefsteak tomatoes that I presume are what, what are flying across the yes. top of the screen, you just avoid them? Yeah. Okay. So I have to go in here? Yeah. I have to, that's, that's problematic. <laughs> they just get in your way. Yeah. So you're trying to build a wall so that those guys can't shoot you. So I'm safe here. I believe. You look safe. I want a green that... one. There we go. Build another one there. Shoot that. There are the cherry tomatoes. Yellow. Ooh, yellow. I could build one there, yeah. It's true. Ooh. They shoot themselves, too. <laughs> what was the last... Oh, Neomita. Uh, what was the name of the moody? Sorry, I was... I, I, AFK. <laughs> Away what was keyboard. the last game? Away from keyboard. Come on, okay. no, your 1980s uh, I don't, BBS. I, I uh, wasn't on BBSs in the 80s, sorry. Um, <laughs> James and Tanya should dedicate an episode to the Sword Quest series. You uh -huh. know, yeah. I wouldn't. I, that would be interesting. Yeah. I would want to watch something about how they're played a little bit so it wouldn't be completely useless, but. Uh, now I need pink ones because they're yeah. not shooting at me anymore, actually. No, they can't. So all I have to do is look out for the red tomato. I guess I can get yeah. yellow. Yeah, yeah, just put it on that side. I wonder if you cover the up the green that you can't shoot that uh, I don't know. finger on Does anymore. it go three through? Maybe it starts eating away at stuff? I don't know. Let's see, I guess. Oof. Oh, they're shooting at me now. Stop it. Oh, my goodness. I want the pink one. Pink. Thank you. Don't need green. Don't need green. Ah! Sure, I'll take that. Nice. Yeah, I can do one there. I just need one more pink. Come on. It's totally random. Once, oh, once pink is complete, nothing grows on green. Okay, good oh, to know. Okay, good. So now I just need one more. Dodge the beefsteaks. Dodge the beef steaks. They're pretty. They're like vampire ah. tomatoes. Ah. Oh, you need oh, yellow. Oh, I don't. I need yellow. Right. Vampire tomatoes. They are vampire-y. They've got little teeth. I feel like they've got... No, no, no. I don't think I read everything about this. Can you... Nice! Oh! Uh, Revenge of the Beef Steak Tomatoes from 20th Century Fox. Um, created by John Russell. Also, Revenge of the Cherry Tomatoes. Yeah, you, are, you answered okay. all that. Okay, good. This is so cute. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Now they're shooting faster. It's it's very cute. Something about the plants, rev, you know, revolting against humanity, yeah. oh, or whatever growing, that little thing is. They're growing <laughs> faster. It's very cute. Oh, pink! I need that green. I should stay over here because it's mm -hmm. safe. Actually, it's very safe down here. But it's also harder to shoot things. Very cute. All oh, right, I like that game. Not a bad game. Uh, what's the next one? Can you read it? The next one is Sequest from 1983. Oh, oh, all about Do you? You can play now. Ready. 1983, February 1st, which means I don't have an exact date. It's just in February at some point. Rescue the divers. Shoot the sharks. Oh, we played this, or some version of it. We did. We played it because we were going for a patch. Ah, uh, that explains it. Cartridge number AX022, made by Steve Cartwright, also known as Mariana. 
this, I believe I got the patch on the first try. It's really easy if you want to get a patch for this. Oh my god, that was so close. You need air, go to the top. I forgot about the air. I forgot that was the thing. Yeah, need some oxygen. Oh, that poor diver. Sequest is a really fun one. Yes, they use the different levels to uh, put it to good use. Um, and the divers are drawn with the ball. Which is amazing that somebody was able to make a really good diver with a ball. And if you notice, his legs just kick and one leg kicks out straight. So it's able to be a ball of four pixels. Super, super clever use of the ball character. So that they could get three characters on one line. Three sprites on one line. Playing it, playing it fast and loose there. I was. Ah, oh, no! Some of them shoot. I know, I know, I know. Don't get them. No, 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 no. Turn around no, if you no, shoot no. them. All. Oh. oh. Dead diver. Poor divers. Yeah. Oh, You're no. Full. You're full. Am I? Oh. I have to like, let them out at the I top. I forget that. And Charles Whelan says, yay, Sequest! Nostalgic. Sequest is a really fun one. Neo Media, I love Sequest. Everybody agrees. Sequest is awesome. And now you've got a ship at the top that you have to plan out when you're going to do air, when you're going to get air, because it takes a little bit to get air, and when you're going to drop off the divers. All the games are amazing when you consider the 2600's limitations. So yeah, like, look at this. All they play, all they programmed this game for is combat. Like, the first group of games. That was what they were thinking. And probably a little bit further as well. Oh, gotta drop off your divers. Nice. Even the beginning of the next level, you have to take into consideration. No! No! Oh. Ah. This is a cute game. Oh yeah. It's got the Activision sunset. It's got really nice waves at the top. Oh, just a little. Shot him too late. No, I just just snuck up a little too. Ah! Get to the top. No, I can't get them in line sometimes. Because they're going whoop, whoop, whoop. Can you press reset, please? Oh! Oh, it's one of those. One of those. One of those games. Where they thought, ah, they can just press reset. Those kids, they're young. They can jump up and run to the run to the console. Well, they would they're probably the sitting in front them. of it looking up like this anyway so <laughs> yeah sitting on the floor with sitting it on, on the, the floor. floor yeah console on the floor tv about six feet above their head now um <laughs> yeah how are you doing you're doing okay hi, hi. how are you feeling feeling okay you doing okay buddy Oh, you know what he's looking at? He's not looking at the lights. Oh, what? oh, the treats. He's looking at the treats. He's Are like, sure? I haven't. He hasn't. He's hasn't eaten very much today. We haven't given much him much to eat. So wasn't allowed. Yeah, because he he's couldn't a bad eat. Cat. And then we gave him a little bit when he came home, but we didn't want him to be sick. So, oh yeah. Meow, treats, please. <laughs> treats, please. Yes. He's trying to say it oh. in his little squeaky voice. Yeah, I'm just a baby cat. Just a baby cat. Someone give me the treats, There you please. go. Next up is Ms. Pac-Man. This is a great game. Yes. 100%. I have the cartridge. There you go, Ms. Pac-Man. Woo! I'm excited. A thousand times better than Pac-Man. May uh, put out in February. Uh, CX2675 made by Mark Ackerman and Glenn Parker. And uh, the sound is good. The graphics are good. Um, the maze, you know, is fine. It's, it's fine. adequate. 
Um, have people it. have improved on Pac-Man mazes with the uh, uh, poke through holes in the maze so that you can have the dots a different color. But way, way, way better. It's got actual fruit in it. It does. <laughs> Rather I Rather than I a, a cherry. square whatever it is. <laughs> uh, Ms. Pac-Man goes up, down, left, right, and looks good in all directions. And people have hacked this to make it back into a better Pac-Man by just changing the graphics back and, and um, a bunch of other things. Nice. That last one? Oh, no. No, too close. Yeah. Target 800 XL rules. Games were so clever in design, I missed the challenge this game offers. That offered. was the sequest, I think. Yeah. Uh, Nostalgic says, this is a really good port. This is an excellent port. Very good. Yeah. Um, this game got me over the disappointment from the first pack from oh, Manfield yeah. 2600. 100%. Like, you can see that's a strawberry. Like, you can tell the what the fruit is, and, like, easily. Nostalgic, this sound is so distinctive that when I played this on the Retro in 77, I could tell the emulation was off. Wow. Ooh. There's the hopping strawberry. Hoppity hop 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 hop. Watch out. Oh, oh, you made it out. Oh, I just missed the ghost. Gopherman says, well, the intro tune's really nice. I've mostly played uh, the Atari 8-bit version, but this stands up. It does. The music's really good, and the sound effects are really good. Like, there's nothing needing changed on this. It's only slight improvements that you can make on it. Like if you look at the uh, 4K Pac-Man, there's only some slight things you could do, but it doesn't affect gameplay. Gameplay's great. Yeah, finally. Uh, Nostalgic says, I think those are H-move lines. Yeah, the, the um, black lines down the left-hand side. And they may have done that on purpose so that they can have a wider maze, just to fit it all in properly. It's like, some games do H moves every every uh, row, so it's a, just a straight black line, so you can't tell the H moves are there. But they may have done that on purpose on this one. Ooh, oh no, I didn't see that guy. He was on the other side. <clears throat> Caffeman says, this is superb, so is the 5200 version. Orange, orange, oh, orange. Oh, it's a good orange. It's got a little shine on it. Waiting. Get those ghosts. Yeah, 1983 isn't full of bad games. There's a lot of good games. But unfortunately, it was a lot of bad games at the same time. So it's just such a flood of terrible games that it really outshone the great games that were uh, released in 83. Oh, you have another one. I know I do. <laughs> well, I should be marking down these games. Definitely Miss Pac-Man's great. Um, I think Tron Deadly Discs. I'm oh! Check mark the side. Off by a second. I like Sequest, but it doesn't have, I don't know, the variety that I look for in a game. It, 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 yeah. It's, it, it's, there's something about it that is a little overly simple. A little simple. repetitive. This one has a lot of Things you could do. Okay, next one is Pure Torture. Pure, is that the name of the game? Pure Torture. Yes, it is. <laughs> Sword Quest Fire World. Oh no! The last. <laughs> the last. The last of the. Ready. It's the third one. The last of the four that were to be released. Fourth one never got released. Um, put out in February '83 by Atari. CX2657 by Todd Fry. Also called Adventure 2. Or Sword Quest 2. Fire World. Are you playing? Nope. Oh, you are now. 
Oh, it's couch compliant. Oh my god. Hooray, it's kaboom with a joystick. <laughs> the worst input you could think of for kaboom. <laughs> Lord Monkus says, oh god, sword quest. <laughs> what? What is going on here? Isn't this the same? Yeah, it is. Remember, we played the wrong one. Oh, we already played Fire World. We, we did. We played Fire World accidentally. So are we supposed to play the other one? I or don't we did remember. play the other one. So we already played this. It's terrible. It is terrible. So I don't think we need to play it. No, we don't. Nope. It's terrible. Nope. Skip it. Not Fire World again. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to play Adventures of Tron. Should I do up the cartridge? Wasn't Waterworld the last one released? A Tron 2600 dude? <laughs> Lord Monkus, good call. Oh, maybe <laughs> good call. What is this? Interesting. Oh, what is that? 121 TT. I don't think that's right. Okay, press button. We're not. What the hell's going on? Thank you. Mm. There we go. Are you moving? Ready. Move. Yep. Okay. What am I doing? Adventures of Tron. Um, I think you have to grab those things that are at the top. Ah! To jump up and grab them. Oh. Um, you move up with the elevators. So wait, what am I grabbing? These things? Yes. Those things. And avoid the tanks. Tanks coming down. Go up. Oh, oh no! <laughs> My gosh. Um, and the, I think if you jump into the arrows, they move you in the other direction. You might be able to jump over the tanks. No, go up! I thought it... Does you, it not go up? You were on the edge of it. Your foot oh, was just God, off God, of really? Yeah. Go... No, it doesn't go up. Oh, I think you have to go over to the other one. Ugh. And then go over to the other one. I think. Ugh. You might want to start in position B. That's what uh, Charles Wheeler oh, says. Oh, zone A? Bad. Nice. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Didn't realize it was on B. So annoying. I have to set those. What? I can't get them? Well, comes the baddies. I don't know. Am I supposed to get them? Uh... I thought you could try and jump into them, like up and into them. Ah! Oh, we avoided all of them. That's good. There you go. I think you're just jumping too late. I like think you have you're to right. be up in the air to get them. When you reach a level with an elevator, you have to cross the beam in the middle before uh, using an elevator again. So I guess okay. you can touch it and go back. Uh, Oh. oh, he fell down the hole. Okay. Oh, you have to cross the beam. Jump oh, over no. that guy. Oh, oh okay. Quite. Looks like you can. You can, yeah. Uh, it's put out by M Network MT4317, made by Hal Finney, Glenn Hightower, and Peter Kaminsky. Also called Adventures on GX12, for yeah. some reason. Oh, you saved that. yourself. Yeah, I did. Whether that was. The jumping in this game is great. Oh, God. Oh, it's so hard to. It's very, very. Um... Thin clearance I think there. you might want to drop down when it's that close, like run for the middle. Well, you can't necessarily do that. So I guess it's more about anticipation. Of oh, I'm going to go down again. Oh! Go right to the edge. These old games, man. No! Oh my oh. god! Too early. Not good, not good. Oh, Very odd. I won't get to play. You can play. No, you there's play? five seconds Here, left. Play. I know. Oh well. Yeah. It's a it's an awkward game. <laughs> Next Not bad. Just Air. awkward. Oh, we didn't reset the time. That's right. You, we continued you get some play? from the there sword quest. Continued from the sword quest. The jumping in this game is great, Charles Whelan says, and definite sarcasm in my last comment. <laughs> you can't collect the arrow. Thank you, Dave. It's a problem with playing games you don't know all the rules for. Yeah. You are play when you're playing 27 games a day. Yeah, isn't it the same sound effects as then de Deadly Discs? Yeah, I think you might be Probably. right there, Vitoko. That's a beautiful opening screen, though. It is. Gorgeous. Where they put all the Love money into. flashing rainbows. Oh, come on. I got that one. There we 
we go. Push down at any time to drop a level. Oh, so you oh. can just drop through. Oh, oh my god. That's a lifesaver. So much easier. <laughs> why we have the chat. That's right. <laughs> Someone has to tell us how to play these games. Oh, come on. I got that. <laughs> oh. I have to drop down. I'm going up. Oof. Maybe you can't get those late. Those. What is... Ah! Maybe you can't get them. Maybe not. What is happening? Chat. Oh, there oh, we there go. There you go. Just Weird. very awkward. Beam me up, Scotty. Nice. <laughs> That's cool. A lot going on in this game. I like it. I like it too. It's a little awkward, the jumping and everything, but. Uh... Yeah. The jumping is and, and collecting of things is, oh, I'm have to go down. is a bit awkward. Mm. But you get used to it. You have to jump well before the thing is in your face. Like, be way up. Oh, not that early, but. <laughs> no, I didn't know there was a guy coming. Mm. The arrow just takes you for a ride. So you can, you can. So you can use that to it. get over things. Neat. Uh, the orange guys are coming. The what? Oh, I'm gonna have to drop down. Uh, the orange guys are coming, I said. Mm -hmm. Oh, didn't take me for a ride. <laughs> Up we go. And drop. Yeah, you're getting the hang of it. Yep. And yep. Wee. I like that there's a fireman's pole down the middle. It is awesome. <laughs> We were playing... Oh, we're gonna have to jump. What was the name of the game? We haven't played it in a while. But, um, the... System? The world building game. The, the asteroid game. Uh, oh, yep. And, uh, you build a, dun, dun, a base dun, 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 in an asteroid. It's a very, very world buildy long play game. <laughs> yep. Uh, but at one point, you develop a technology so you can build a fire pole. Because yes. they climb up ladders. And then you can build a fire pole for that, all your, your little replicants to slide back down. Oxygen not included. Oxygen not included. Uh, a very, very involved, complex huh. game. Um, but a lot of fun if you like those kind of world building games. But I always thought the fire pole, I'm like, yeah, yeah, that works. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all I can think of those poor replicants' hands. They would get like. <gasps> Damn. They would get blisters and like calluses on their hands from going down that fire pole all the time. They wear gloves. They, they have uniforms. Sure, sure. I bet sure. they wear gloves. Sure. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Wait. Ooh, is that guy gonna come up? Yep, I knew it. They changed form. Oh, now it's tank time. Oh, oh that's what gets hard in this level. Oh, I'm done. Mm. Okay. Mm. Good game. That's that's, that's the challenge. Fun. I like that. I'm putting a check mark. What was it called again? Adventures of Tron. Adventures so of Tron. Tron. Pretty games. decent, yeah. Uh, next one should be good. Air Tron should Raiders. Be good games. Yeah. I mean, it's a movie all about video game playing so yeah it is it should be so good it should translate well yeah at re plus ready what was it air, air raiders? raiders by m network uh, uh -oh. mt5861 uh oh I don't think you built up enough speed to take off oh i see okay i'm like this has to be a flight simulator yep okay do it there you go. Up, 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 up. Keep your altitude up. That's our reason. Uh, February, uh, released in February, made by Larry Zwick, also known as Bogey Blaster, Top Gun Air Patrol, and Air Battle. So, pretty much, shoot things, don't get shot, you have limited ammo, don't crash. Ah. Turn around, because they're obviously behind you. There they are. Nice. Nice. So they fly in formation until you shoot one, then they go scatter! Scatter! Yeah. My 
dads. I heard this and thought you were playing enduro. <laughs> True. And what about your dad? Flight simulators? Oh, my dad's favorite game uh, on the Commodore 64 was the flight simulator. Loved mm. it so much. No, no! Oh, you're still going. Still going. Your altitude goes down. Where is he? Where is he? Turning, turning, banking, banking, yeah, banking. Bank until you see it. Don't think there's any radar in this. It's old no. school. It's pretty cool. You just wait until someone. I don't know what the red is. Oh, you're out of ammo. Am I? Oh no! Oh. How do I get my ammo back? I have to find my way back. Probably have to land somewhere. Oh jeez. Maybe you keep it in the red. Oh, you got to shoot down at least ten. But I haven't. No, I think you're screwed. Oh no. Okay. My turn. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. It's hard, but it's not that hard. Once you get the hang of it, yeah. I don't think it's that bad. Nice. Red is heavy flak zone. Oh, okay. Oh, so, so when you're in the red zone. Of the red. Get him. Oh, someone's shooting you. I'm in get the him. Flak zone. That makes sense. I wasn't even in the red. Red's heavy flak zone, not zero flak zone. Okay, so let's stay out of it. Nice. What's the When you're out of ammo, you have to land. You'll get a bit more based on the how many planes you've shot. Okay, fair enough. So you Ooh, just have another, to figure out where to land. Another group of them. How do you figure out where to land? You're in the heavy flak zone. Get out of there. Must have to be do something to do with the pink. No, the pink is your life. Oh, okay. So you're you've you've been hit a few times, um, but I'm not sure how you figure out where to land. I'm sure it probably says in the instructions. I would assume you would see the landing strip at some point. But yeah, I can hear the sounds of the Commodore 64 flight simulator in my head, <laughs> of like. And like all the noises when the plane takes off. That was like my dad's. Oh, my altitude was it. My dad bought a special joystick. Yeah, a yoke. A yoke joystick to play with his Commodore 64 flight simulator. Okay, I need really, really way like it. higher. Blue pink bar is fuel. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay. Fuel. I thought I thought it went down when you got hit. Land anywhere. Oh, okay. oh, reduce alt to zero, then wait, runway will appear. Okay, cool. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Dave. I'm glad someone in the chat has played this game before. Yeah, makes it much easier. I think nice. I want to get my altitude. Yeah, that would make yeah, sense yeah, yeah, if it's yeah. fuel. There we go. 40. So either fuel or ammo gets low, you will have to uh, land. That makes sense. It's pretty, I mean, it's pretty rudimentary, but it, it Very works. Very convincing. Yeah. It works. Uh-oh. And you lose altitude when you get hit. Oh, yeah. So you kind of go... So I suppose if you're too again. close to the ground, you might hit the ground. That's what happened last time. Was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. This is, a, uh, this is a nice game. Yeah, very convincing. I like it. There they are. Rendered ghosts. Hi from VR. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> You're in VR? You're in VR right now? Watching this on a screen? Can I oh, freak okay. you out? I'll put the cat right up to the... <laughs> ah, 3D ah, cat. 3D cat. There you go. Uh, we only have a couple seconds left. Okay, next one is reactor. Okay. And I do have the cartridge for that. Do you remember ever having a specific term for when you reached the max score and the game was forced to roll over to zero? Ready. Specific term. Uh, it's like rollover. Uh, okay. I'm not playing. I will play this. Oh. First. Uh, okay. Okay. What is it? Where are we? It's reactor. And you reactor. Have to oh, we have, have played this game before. Slam those buddies or into the wall. One. By the Parker Brothers. The created Parker Brothers. By the Parker, Bro well, the Parker Brothers, yeah. <laughs> they are the Parker Brothers because they're they're a business. But Parker <laughs> Brothers, um, created by Charlie Heath, Reactor. Everyone loves Reactor. We definitely played a version of this game. Yep, we played a rollerball version. I have it on cartridge. Ah, there we go. Oh, I hit the wall. 
And everyone so. loves Reactor. Oh, Metal Lunar has also watched us in VR. That's kind of neat. Weird. Oh, we'll have to get so, VR at some point, yeah. Uh, no. I'm not as enthusiastic about it. As it's you originally were. It's a lot of money, and it's... There's some cool games, but I, I don't know if I have the long tolerance for it. So, I would like VR, but not necessarily all the accoutrement, if that well, makes sense. You need it all. You need no, the good stuff, right? You need a controller, and you need the VR headset. That's I'm not, not necessarily VR. into the running around the room and being that's, tracked around the room. That's not VR. No, it is VR. You've got the, you've got the, like, I, that's where I like would start. Stationary VR? Stationary VR to start with. What you did don't I need die? all this stuff. How come I die? Okay, in this game, you don't want to touch the walls, and you want to smack those guys into the walls. Yes. And you try and get them in the corners, because you get more points for... Get, you want to smack them into Smack the them into those, because they bounce around and you get tons of points for gotcha. it. Gotcha. And you can leave little things like that, and okay. they go after them. Oh, they attract them. I, this is vaguely, this is coming back to me. Down. Thank you for following Andy H1Up. I think I read that right. I can't yes. see it. Yep. Andy H went up. Glad you're enjoying it. Us playing it. Uh, use the decoy. Put a decoy by the rods. What are the rods? Oh, oh by the edges, right? The edges. Yeah, like here. So they go for that. No, no. Don't you have to These? get those things at the end edges there? I have to touch them? No, don't you have to get them to touch them? I don't remember. It's been a while. Put a decoy by the rods. Okay. Rolling the score, yeah. I'm supposed to smash them. Oh, I turned the machine over. Oh, I'm supposed to yeah. bounce them into the rods. There they go. Yeah, that's what I that's what I recalled. You have to hit the rods. There you okay. go. Okay. Now little dudes come over here. No, they, oh, I don't. Wait for that one to disappear. Up? No, it's like there for 15 seconds. Uh, now I can put one over here. I turned the machine over. Hmm. In this game? Interesting. No. Uh, Rod Kasser was wondering about what people called it when they flipped the score. Oh. They said they used to call it, I turned the rolling, machine over. Oh, rolling the score. Rolling the scores. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I, I know heard it too. Uh, use the decoy reactor. Everyone's like excited. Reactor. Flight and driving sims are best VR experiences. Yeah, I can see that. Yes, because you don't have to, you're sitting down. So yeah, you, I don't think every game you have to be running around the room. No. Like, you can sit and play most games and still enjoy the, the 3D effect of the of the headset, right? Yeah. Love the crunchy sound effects, yeah. Okay, dudes, get, oh, there we go. Okay, let's get, come over here. <laughs> get those rods. Come on, one more. Oh, one more, come on. There we go. Bounce around there. Oh, I have to encourage you. Come on. One more. Oh. oh, but they all died. And the thing in the middle gets bigger and bigger, and it makes it harder. They're not really bouncing me very much, but me bouncing into them, they seem to just take off. Okay, over here. Come on. I don't understand this game very much. Like, I'm playing it right, because they're all dying and I'm not dying. I've You're supposed to get lots of points for getting them in there, in this little thing. Like hiding them in there? Yeah. See, they bounce around and you get lots of points. There you go. But you're supposed to get these rods. I think you have to bounce off the rods. I don't remember. We played it before, and and we were uh, doing terrible before. I know. <laughs> oh, crash into the wall. What wall is bad? The the All center. Of it. You can't touch anything. Oh. Anything. It's it's interesting. Uh. It's interesting. It's, it's very interesting. <laughs> Everyone, Everybody in, seems to love it. Am yeah. I am I doing it well, right? Well, we probably don't have the full gameplay going, so... Next one is Star Wars Jedi Ooh, Arena. Two-player. Two-player paddle game. I have the control. I have the cartridge for it. It is one of those games where it is... You grab those so mm -hmm. they don't fall. 
simple in concept. Ooh, looks good. Ready. I'm the bottom. I'm the blue. Move yours. I think I have to go to two player. Let's see. Now you can move. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Yeah. There we go. You have to go all the way. I know all the way. The I wasn't going all the way. Okay. So you're you can move that. So you're defending and attacking. So the direction you're pointing is the direction it's going to shoot at me. Right? Yeah. But I have to attack you, too. There we go. And see your uh, defense wall uh, behind you, those, um, those black things by your um, sword. Those, it's your wall. It's like um, medieval mayhem. You have to protect your castle. How come I'm not shooting very much? I don't know. I don't know why you're not shooting at all. I think I have to get up towards you more. Anyway, now I can shoot at you. I don't know why it's at so low all the time. I don't know why it's not shooting more. For on your end. Are you hitting the button? Yeah. Awesome. And it's like really low. But mine's colored and yours isn't. There's something weird going on here. That noise? When it goes crazy? That's when I can shoot you for some reason. Oh, there are there different games? different versions like this is round game six or oh there now i can shoot you for like a millisecond oh yeah there must be different games and maybe this one is like it has a different purpose it's very odd how come i can't play use the force yet yeah, you're not using the force how the force is much stronger with me than it is with you. Apparently. There's only one button. I can't do anything. <laughs> so much to learn you have, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to be just hitting you. That's weird. Do you want to switch? Yes. It's like I'm defending and you're shooting almost. Yeah. Maybe it is like a one player. Something isn't right. The cartridge. Oh, maybe. It does look a little funky, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh my god, that's better. That looks way different. Hooray! We can maybe use it now. That does help when the uh, cartridge is plugged in properly. Yeah, this looks it's funny that Atari 2600 cartridges can do that. Like, they'll run, and they'll run wrong. <laughs> so it's, you're attacking and defending at the same time. Kind of. So I'm, it's I'm... very... Interesting. Interesting. Well, he's already almost broken through the barrier. That's terrible. It's hurting my hand. I always find these buttons get to me after a while. Oh, almost got you. There. Oh! Good game. Oh, now I'm at the bottom. So much easier at the bottom. Is it? No, it's Because right is right and left is left. For me, anyway, the way I rotate the. Right at the bottom? Yeah, I'm right. You're really trying to make a, a spot in the. In the um, 
Oh, you got it. Uh, That's pretty see. good. Pretty good. <laughs> yes, feel your anger. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> so it was not letting me shoot hardly at all. It was very bizarre. Like, and the colors are all off too. Like once in like, like I got three shots every like two minutes or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Games these are. Next one is Seahawk. I'll reset the timer. Nice. This was not playing properly, so it's like no, a that's bit fair longer. enough. Yeah. At our hot blood. Ready. Paddles? No paddles? No paddles. Oh, there's boxes upstairs. I gotta. Do you want to go boxes? get some? Yes. They arrived. Yep. They just arrived. Yep. Oh my goodness. Oh, I have to switch over to joystick. I will take this time to switch over to joystick. At our hot blood. Ready. The delivery, do you find that delivery people don't knock anymore? They just throw them at your door and run away. They don't knock, they don't ring the bell. At least here they don't. It's so annoying. Especially, at the, maybe they just don't want to deal with people. They're like, nah, yeah, yeah, we don't want to hear you. We don't want to see you. We just want to throw the things down and run away. <laughs> Are you throwing, throwing down and running away? Oh, the oh yeah, the boxes. The boxes. Yes, small things and ginormous Amazon packages. Okay, go for it. Seahawk. No, it was on it. Uh, no, I just pressed sequence. <laughs> uh, Don't know why you didn't oh, click it if you were on it already. Because I was waiting for you to come back. Oh, uh, this was a uh, February, made by Sancho or Tang's Electronic Company. It's very self-explanatory. Shoot the things. I'm not playing so. Oh, okay. has so many H moves that there's only a tiny bit of non-H moves left. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it moves so fast. Sure does. It's Defender again. Mixed with uh, Chopper Command. Oh my god. Good clouds. Very nice clouds. Oh, finally shot something. Wave's not bad. There's some a pink sunset at the bottom of the screen for some reason. Maybe it's uh, Noxious Fumes. In this game, you can shoot forward and you can bomb by doing different types of moves. I think you, like, change. If you press forward and shoot, oh. um, you shoot forward. If you press down and shoot, it switches to that bombing. Uh, uh, cartridge number TEC002, made by Otto Versand. Oh my god, he jumps out of the plane! And nobody dies in this. It's all fine. It's just parachutes. <laughs> Um, also called Seahawk with a space. Overkill and Marine Flieger River Raid 2. Nice way to jump off another name. Lots of recycled sounds. I mean, if you hear a sound in another game and you like it, you guess you just take it. Because <laughs> really there's... Without doing fancy things, there's only so many kinds of sounds on the 2600 and made by the TIA. But you can still get adventurous. Um, I think somebody asked, oh, are you going to do your top 20 Atari 2600 well, games? We, I mean, that would be a good um, uh, encore show when, when it's all said and done. It would be. Um, I mean, I've done best of homebrews because that's what we normally play on this show. Uh, get better. Oh, oh, right from behind. Oh, never say that. <laughs> You're doing so well. You're kicking ass and dead. <laughs> uh, I had UPS leave $700 worth of my stuff on the doorstep the oh. other day. That's terrible. That's so terrifying. I doubt any of these games work, work with Atari Vox. No, they don't. I just have it plugged in. It's a good indicator if the system's on or not. Um, because of DoorDash, they normalize that. The app is supposed to be your knock. And apparently it's taboo to rush the dasher, which means to catch them to say thanks or something. <laughs> so I always, I, I'm always yelling thanks as they, they run this race. Thank you! <laughs> Make them feel guilty. Yeah. Here's a future episode. Play nothing but games released by Champ Games. We've not, done that. Not a terrible, not a terrible We've done uh, that. idea. We've done that. I know we it have. was a uh, spotlight on Champ Games. We played everything by them up to that point. Um, we, we'll, 
we can obviously obviously uh, revisit champ games again. But we inter oh. we interview also as doing the spotlight on them too. You get a lot of lives. Yeah, we interview them also doing the spotlight. So we could do a champ games non-interview um, session because Tanya gets to play all the games I in the spotlights, and I don't get to play. I the get games. to play them all. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm busy interviewing. I have a question about Robot War. Is it supposed to auto shoot? Uh, there's an option to auto shoot and not auto shoot, depending on how many joysticks you have plugged in and the options you have on the settings. So definitely read the manual. Oh, he got me from behind. Um, because you can set it to auto shoot based on. Do you want to? Do you want to? Like forty-five second. Uh, it's not a go. great. It's not a great game. It's all right. It's, it's nothing's changing though. It's just the same. Pretty simple. There's no leveling up as far as I can tell. It's funny because you can drop a bomb and then steer it into the ship. You can, and then Watch if this. if you're if you're not careful, the oh. bomb will steer that their shot will steer into you, which is kind of oh, funny. Can I land on the ship? Look how slow I'm going down. Did you see that? Yeah. Is that normally how slow you go down? Oh. Uh, look, look. Oh, because you're pretty high up. Look. I'm usually closer to the ground. I don't know if that gives you any points or anything. Um, oh, it did, I think. Did it? Yeah. I'll get to try that again. Try it shoot again. Me. Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. No! Come on. Now I'm trying to get shot. No, just go low. Go low. Yeah, but it's harder to... True. Okay. 30... No. You got good. your life back. You got your life back. What? Yes, you did. It looks like you did. Okay, I've got one life left. Is landing on the enemy ship better than landing in the in the ocean? You get your life back. You get your life back if That's you manage to land on a ship. Crazy. That is cool. That is cool. So if you stay high, you can you can always get uh, your life back. With one controller, difficulty A is auto, B okay. is manual. Here you go. Hmm. Cool. Um, next game is Cosmic Corridor. So much better doing Very this awesome. when it's not blazingly hot out. Ready. Mm-hmm. Cosmic Corridor by Zymag. Zymag? Z-I-M-A-G. In February, PG-202, also known as Space Tunnel and Cosmic War. Looks like a shoot-everything game. Like shoot to the sides. Oh my god, it's a swarm of bees. It's a robot. A ah! A robot. Things coming from the top. So far? Oh, you can turn around. Oh, it's very, very awkward. Ah, there we go. Oh, three shots just went off. Oh, funny. That was their bullets. So you've got lasers down and bullets mm -hmm. left and right. Oh, at least they're shrapnel. I know, thank goodness. Kill you. Oh, a decent variety of uh, enemies so far. Very big variety. There hasn't been, hasn't been one repeat yet. Ugh. It's like some of the stages from Vanguard, but chunky and not as smooth. Yeah, pretty much. It looks like the vertical stages from Vanguard. Oh, just a stray bullet. So many enemies! My goodness. It doesn't make the game good. Oh, it's snowflakes! Get those snowflakes. Oh, change color. You made it to the second level. Did I? I guess. I've played a very similar game to this before. Vanguard. Is it? Yeah, it's it's like Vanguard. Ah! Oh, you stupid, stupid, into the stupid. Side. Oh. It's the main character from Frenzy. It's, it's kind of chunky. Like it's you not, want to play some? It's not refined. It's very awkward for the shooting, I find. Yeah, you can't change speed. You just change direction. Yeah. There's no speed. Oh my god. What was the boss? Whoa, 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 whoa. I swear I've played this game before. I have too, I swear. Somebody make a hack of I this I think someone played? made a hack of this, for sure. So I remember the bouncing bullets. Yes, I do too. And how hard they were. Yeah. They really level. get Who it. Who hacked this game? Forms are looking nice. Excellent. They're shaping up. 
Al's been adding things back again Very nice. into the forums bit by bit to uh, get them back up to full speed as people uh, go. Does it go down naturally or do you have to push down? Nope, naturally. You, you naturally go either up or down. But you, you're always moving. There's no stopping. Yeah, you just push up, push down. Ugh. Which makes it really hard for those bullets because you, it's so hard to evade them. Can you shoot backwards? Oh, you can. I couldn't... Any direction you want. Oh, I guess that's true. You, you, you get the laser going forward, though. Okay. Duh! <laughs> The good thing is that if the bolts are on the screen, they're not shooting. So you have to push down or up for the... Oh my god. I don't like how their bullets work. They have nothing to do with the direction you're moving. They just kind of move very randomly. You cannot get out of the no, way... No, you can't get out of the way of them. I remember that of the hack. That, yeah. Or Ooh. whatever we played. Whatever yeah. we play, we've played this game. Well, we have. A very... Form. It looked different, though. Look completely but different. But the gameplay was the same. You're moving down a single path, and these things kind of float into your screen, and the oh, bullets just, just follow their own path, right? Oh, there's auto fire. That makes sense. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I always try auto fire. I know. I, I always forget. Twin sticks would be cool for this. Yeah. That would make it a lot better. Yeah, if you Oh, could you can control... shoot the bullets. Hard to shoot the bullets off. Oh. Because they're moving fast and yeah. crazy. It looks like you're just trying to be in a magic game but failing at it. Oh, yeah, it's that. got the colors of, a, of an magic game. Yeah. It doesn't have the imagination of an magic game. The imagination and magic. That's Anyone? What... Everyone's talking about the Lego 2600. Anyone see the oh, Lego 2600? It's all over Facebook. Every is single person on every lots of... Atari board is posted a thousand times. <laughs> I it's, bought it, RC70 said. It's cool. so expensive. It's really nice. It is really nice. And it's... We have our mini one. We're yeah, happy with the I little like, mini one I that like the we tiny made. One. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's a, not a good game. Yeah. Do you, could you put a Raspberry Pi in it and play oh, uh, play some emulation uh, 2600 oh, games? Oh, it's huge. Love. You can put a mini, a mini ITX in nice. it, probably. Nice. Um, so next one's Dishaster, also known as Dancing Plate. Uh, by Zimag again. Uh, seven and seven one one dash one one one. Oh, you're you're playing with it. Oh, look at that! It's got like a circus tent with a flag on top. Yep. Keep those plates spinning. What Spin am that I plate. To do? So you have to. So the plates will get wobbly if you don't keep them spinning. So you're you are spinning. So you have to go back to that one. Spin it up. Spin up that plate. You might have to press a button. Press it's not button. working. Press, press the button on it when you're over it. There oh. you go. It's going, it's going down. Press the button. There you go. It's like you're spinning, but you have to push the button and spin it at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> this Tari 2600 dude says, this game is terrible. <laughs> it's a very interesting game. I think Zimag has a reputation. Yeah. I think so. Let me see the other games Zemag has made. I know the time is paused because I have to look at other Zemag games. One second, I'll get the time back. There you go. Zemag. Let's sort it by company. They've only, they only made two games. <laughs> the one we played bef just before this and this one. Gotcha. So, yes, they're terrible. Because they made two terrible games. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Two more. Spin a little bit and then go to the next one. Oh. <laughs> Pregnant women fixing the antennas. I'm not sure I like this. <laughs> <laughs> she does kind of pregnant women is fixing antennas. Never assume a woman is pregnant. <laughs> Do not assume. Funny, 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 funny. But she does have an odd shape when uh, yeah. she's fixing it. Well, she's just doing it in her hoodie. There's nothing wrong That's with right. that. Her, her hoodie is is bulging out. Don't don't assume. You know, we we like to be we like to be comfortable <laughs> when we're spinning plates. That's right. That's right. There's a lot of movement. Oh boy. Is not a very 10, 
No, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. There, there's nothing going on. You just keep rushing from plate to plate. That's it. I mean, there's some precision you have to get down. You have to be directly underneath it. Yeah. Gee, why didn't they include baking and scrubbing floors too? <laughs> Points to them for an unusual concept. That's true. I mean, it's not a terrible concept for a game. But nothing else is happening. Like you don't have to avoid things. You don't have to go do something else while, while you have to go do plates. Like, like there has to be something more than just running from plate to plate. I think it's not plate. like a terrible concept for a game. It's no. just there's not much going on. I'm just like sometimes the maybe base. you have to climb up the poles to grab something. Or, or they should fall, like nothing's fallen so far. Or something runs along the ground that you have to jump over. Yeah, it's a little, it's like a little something. out. Something. Like levels? Like, like what's going on? You just play forever? That's what it's like when you're juggling plates all day. <laughs> That's right. You just gotta keep juggling those plates. Uh, oh, RC70 is uh, answering Neo Media about our joysticks that we're using. Bratwurst on Atari H forums made some recently. He makes controllers. James and Ten are using right now. They're excellent, but he's only made two I bought so far. Oh, the two, the dual joysticks. Yeah, he made very limited amounts of dual joysticks. Okay, is my five minutes up? Because yeah, forty-six seconds. Oh, Keep goodness. spinning those plates. Ugh, five minutes of spinning plates. Made the oh RC seventy bought the two dual seventy eight hundred joysticks from Browers. Cool. I'm sure he'd make more if there's demand. Ed Ladin has insanely nice ones, but a lot of money. Yes. Retro Game Boys makes thumbsticks ones, but I didn't personally like the feel of those too much. I'm, I'm not very excited about thumbsticks. I like joysticks. Some people love, you know, D pads. I think it depends on the game, but like this, um, some games are better played with. Like you will play for the style. full five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Charles Whelan says. <laughs> Maybe That's I right. won't. Maybe I'll let them all fall, Charles. Hey, you should let one fall. Let one fall. Don't get that one. Don't get that one. No, Don't I can't stop. One. Okay, now they're going to fall. Because I want to see what happens I want to see what fall. happens. Because you haven't let one go. This game's too easy, obviously. Oh. Oh. Oh, there it's going. It's going. They're getting really ah! slow. They're getting wobbly. <laughs> does she, does, is she dismayed? Is there any kind of animation for... I mean, she's got her hands in her in her pouch. Yeah, she's there. got pockets. Oh my god, you get a lot of time. Oh my god. <laughs> now we're seeing some Oh, action. there it goes! Crash! Crash! That's it? Oh, you just lose plates. You lose your plates. So plate. you can still spin four. Oh my god. So your lives are the plates in the bottom. Well, that's a terrible game. <laughs> now we're seeing some action. <laughs> <laughs> Next game is Rescue Terra 1. I'll reset that. All right. Made by Venture Vision. February 13th, 1983. Shoot all the things. Press button. Shoot the things. Shoot all the things. Shoot all the things. Don't get hurt. <laughs> Um, the graphics on those asteroids really remind me of Spaceman's Splorf. Yes, Splorf. it does. It does. It's I very it, Splorfy. I think they have the exact same color. So you can move up and down, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Do you have auto fire? Oh, you do. Oh, that's much there better. Thank you for reminding me. Inverted shooter. What happens if you go all the way down? Do you turn around? Probably not. No. Maybe there's so. another wave where it comes from the top. Oh, they're moving side to side now. Watch out. They were before. Oh. Uh, this is VV2001, made by Dan Oliver. This is a... It's, fun. It's, a it's good graphics. It's got a nice little readout at the bottom. You have points. You have a number of shields. I'm guessing that's lives. You have a very long distance to go. <laughs> I'm guessing till you reach Earth. Or till you rescue Terra-1. Is it? This is Spaceman Splorf, isn't it? Isn't this the same game? No. You're rescuing the Earth. You have to. Uh, no, you're you're going you're after your spanner in oh, space. Oh, what, what is Explorer. the one where you're trying not to? Ah, what is the one where you're trying not to have the asteroids hit Earth? That is asteroids. Asteroids? Is no. No. 
as their asteroids. There's like there's like big planets oh. and they explode if the uh, too many asteroids. Do, do I have a it's an excellent box game. of it? I'm definitely I letting don't think I have a box Earth. For it. Earth. Get crushed asteroids, up. Earth, Earth asteroids. Something like that. Something like that. Why are we so bad at remembering the, the names of these wonderful games we've played? We had COVID and we didn't know it. <laughs> With COVID brain. COVID brain. Without any symptoms. No, not Astrobrast. It's a uh, homebrew uh, made by Brazilian. Um, Excellent game. Excellent game. Really good. Asteroids attack? I don't know. Asteroids attack. Is it? I think it's Asteroids Attack. It's excellent. Yeah. Yeah, really good game. It reminds me of this. I swear the Asteroids look the same in it, too. Orbital War. No, no. no. I think it's Asteroids Attack. Ah, they look ah, like ah. upside-down strawberries to me. Oh, yeah, they green. Do look, they, they're making me crave gelato for some reason. We have they some They kind of look like gelato we'll flying after. out of ship. Yes. They have Ooh. kiwi and strawberry gelato. Fresh kiwi strawberry gelato. But I noticed that it froze. Oh, we'll, we'll have to respin it. We'll have to spin it, it. Yeah. Because it's just made of water. So if it if it thaws at all, yeah. it turns to ice. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Lost your first shield. No, I've lost a couple. Oh, you must have gained some then. I'm sure. So mostly avoid them? Avoid them. It's It It doesn't seem to hurt you if you let a few pass you by. It's just no, score. No, it doesn't at Nothing all. Nothing has changed. They just get faster or move more, but there have been no... Closer to... It's just one note asteroids. Yeah, they're... Pretty, but... Nothing's changing. Nothing... They're getting you know, faster. Something else come at me. <laughs> yeah, some I ships. I want something. A UFO. I want to I wanna see something else. Some of these games we played, it's like... So simple. They put all their effort into the graphics, and they look really good. Yeah. But the gameplay is just zero. Well, there's not even graphics. There's just asteroids. Like oh, Those asteroids are nice. Yeah, but They're something really nice. new should be coming at me. Uh, Rescue Terra 1. That's it. Oh, Neo Media is gone. Sorry for heading out. I had a busy day ahead of me tomorrow night. All thank you for the excellent broadcast. James and Tanny, I'll catch up on the rest tomorrow on YouTube. Sounds you good. Bet. Sounds good. Ooh, Sounds almost got me there. <laughs> Go for men says. Give it a minute. <laughs> oh, oh, nice! Finally, those are really nice looking. So we have something that shoots at you now. Nice. Now those are going to start speeding up, I'm sure. Oh yeah. Oh, but those are really nice looking. I mean, they shoot at you. That's the only difference, which is, you know, something. Ah. And he's almost getting hit. Yeah. But still, they're, they're going to start moving side to side as well. Wow, those look really nice. Yeah, those look like, really, really good. Like, really nice. Thank you, Gopherman. The graphics <laughs> the graphics are really good in this game. Gameplay? Still... A little simple. Still bad. A little simple. It's not terrible. Oh, there oh, we there's go. there's more. Oh, finally. That was definitely Nutella level we were playing there. Yeah, that's that lasted way too long. Yeah, it was a little long. Now there's two different... Two different guys. All of a sudden, like... Oh, you got me. Well, it's not a bad game. It's not a bad game. I'm not saying it's a bad game, but no, it, 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 it was. There were a lot of asteroids to, ah, oh to kill. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, ah, might be fun ah. to pretend you're shooting the plates from the last game. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's okay. fine. It's done. What are we playing it's a, next? It's a gorgeous bad shooter. It's not a bad shooter. I would not. I would not call it a bad game. It's, it's a fun shooter. game. It's a fun oh, game. Okay. Average. Sorry, average. Sorry, to, sorry. Average to good. Next one's Ready. Crazy Climber nice. by Atari. It gets tough, Charles Whelan says. I bet it gets harder and harder. Did you hear what I said? No. Okay. Crazy Climber by Atari. I was looking at the chat. March uh, CX 2683. Uh, made by Rockland, Joe Gosher, and Alex Levens. Would, would you like to play this one? Sure. Do you know how to play it? Uh, I know the concept. Okay. You climb up the... Um, then that allows me to get another drink. I'll be right back. You climb it up, you don't go over windows that are closed, you avoid pots being dropped on your head. Um, that's it. <laughs> Get to the top. And the controls are tedious. Remember somebody making a homebrew? Oh. Pat, catch the window like Spider Man. Um, a homebrew of this game on some system and people were supremely pissed at the developer because they didn't I can't get past those windows open back up, come on because they didn't make the game so that you had to use two 
joysticks because in the arcade you have to use two joysticks, one for each hand. Oh, come on. Get past the windows! <laughs> How does this work? You press up and down. Yeah. To, oh, now we're talking. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, no! Right to the Watch bottom. Watch that cat. He's a chewy cat now. Is he? He's hungry. He wants some treats. He wants treats. If oh, anyone has any bits, to donate. Bits for a hungry cat. Yes. Bits for an un hungry cat. Yes. Please, sir, may I oh, have some more? It's raining. It's raining. Yeah, it is. It threatened. It was looking like... It was looking really gray all day, but not cold, so... Death by lemon. And lemon deaths. Yes. It's a bird was carrying a lemon for some reason. Funny. Oh, the movement is so tedious. <laughs> Like, you can't just go quick. No. You have to wait for the uh, guy to put his arms up before he can press down again. So you can't go quick. You have to go that speed. I'm going to make it in two minutes to the top. Uh -huh. Oh, there's somebody dropping a brick or a shoe or underwear. Oh, What was that? What? Bra? <laughs> basket? A warbly basket? A warbly know. shoe? I don't know what that is. At least it stays in one place. Oh, RC70, I depleted my bites yesterday to the episode. Oh, no. That's okay. Everybody's out of out of bits. Am I going to have to lower the number of bits it takes? You might have to. Uh-oh. Bet there's some people with some bits. It's for... like Activision Decathlon, but up and down instead of oh. left and right. It's pre-tied. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Here oh, come the kitties. Oh, oh. Oh, is this just oh. endless? Oh, this is a tedious game. It is. You might have to flip over oh, a little I soon. Will. Yeah, it's not the most exciting. What was that? I'll tell you if anything yeah. else happens in this okay. game. Okay. So far, I'm for climbing. You. I'm climbing and climbing. You. Not too many for the little. Oh, I got hit. Okay. By, okay. By a window. Oh, I made it to the top. Here we go. Oh, and a helicopter comes gets me. Oh, oh look, the helicopter. Oh. oh, I missed the helicopter. There he is. Oh, I have to climb along. Do you have to get him when he's close? Yeah, I have to reach up. Yeah. There we go, now I'll switch back. There's one for you. There's one for you. Yeah, I made Yay, it. thank you, Captain Man! Thank you, Captain oh, Man. Oh, little This is a very hats. tall building. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, I've had a rough day. I need some treats. Give me the treats. Maybe good this is kid. good in the arcade, but this is just painful on this. <laughs> he's like smacking it system. so hard. Smack, 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 smack. It's just hard on your hands. Repetitive motion. <laughs> you are so funny. Doesn't even look at it anymore. Okay, okay, there you go. Isn't he? Feed the cats. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Gonna look at you instead. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's so good at that. Not too many. He said not to feed them too much. Oh, yes, yes. No, they, no, they, they can, be, can be fed. There should really be something for 20,048 bits. Yes. Since that's the size of a page, zero or otherwise. Yeah, oh. true, true. Good call, good call. Well, if call. anybody can think of something that you can make us or the cats do for bits. Do they eat these out, outside of the show? No. Uh, no, actually, we well, we occasionally give them treats, but they Very really get rarely. their treat fill here, so we don't need to... They don't really need more treats after the shows. Okay. No. We, oh my we goodness. We do enough shows that they get tons of treats. I'm, re I'm restocking. I know. I know it's coming. So literally, you guys feed them the only treats they get. Usually, yeah. <laughs> Open the window. Service, please. Service. Yes. One for you. There's two left. Who's gonna get them? Sprite, of course. There's one for Sprite. And. Good kitty. Atari. Good kitties. Good kitties. Nice. They are spoiled, let me tell you. How was that? Do you feel a little better now, Atari? After your after Sprite, I should say, after your rough day? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a rough day. Next one's Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Atari Hot Plus. Ready. He's, he just tried to tap the joystick. Oh, cute. He's like, treats? Do I get treats when I hit this? <laughs> Turn up the heat 5,000 bits. <laughs> no. Great. Uh, which one is it? Oh. Ber Bermuda Triangle. Bermuda Triangle. By Data Age, which is like, mm, some are good, some are okay. 
Um, oh, you're fine. Shoot all the things. Actually, maybe it's under the channel. It's actually fine. These things are not exploding. So there's a, some boats in the top. There's some things at the bottom. Do I have to catch them? Oh. Ah! They kick. Don't stay to the side. Oh, shoot the shark. You got points for all of those. Yeah. How do I... How do I... How do can I shoot work? backwards? No. No. You just gotta watch out. Time for already. Made by J. Ray Detling. 112007. Oh, right into it. Did you just get regular DB9 extensions for the controllers? I've been getting real nervous plugging and unplugging all different controllers lately. So much crackling noises. That's exactly why I got extensions. Yeah, DB9 extensions. Um, there are different kinds of DB9 extensions. I would recommend looking at the male, uh, the female end of them. The part that you plug into the Atari. I and, don't understand and make sure, this. I don't know, shoot over there. No, but there's stuff to pick up at the bottom. Oh, get the stuff then. And then it made all these noises, but then I didn't know what... Oh, you have to scan and get them. Probably not the seaweed. No. Probably those things. Um, that, that. Go scan those. I did. I did before. Then it made noises. Ah! Oh, there's a thing. Can you go I backwards? Know. No. No. Constant speed? Ah. There, scan. Oh, you picked one of them up. Nice. Do you have to you deliver it up? To oh, you might have to deliver it to your boat. No. Nope. Oh, not that thing. <laughs> your, maybe your boat. Is that your boat? I don't know. Uh, we'll figure it out. Um, ah, reset. Oh, have a good night, Kathy Man. Have a good night. Yeah, so look at the uh, female end that plugs into the Atari 2600 to make yep. sure that there's no, like, funny like metal bits or anything that it looks like a normal joystick port. Nice. There you go. And uh, you should be good. Oh, oh, that killed you. That killed me. Nope, so don't want that. Get those. Underwater spaceships. That's, yeah, they are. The UFOs have taken over the seas. They've scanned the Earth and determined that most of the life is under the ocean, and uh, that's what they're attacking. No, not those those. I mean, the graphics are okay in this. Get it? Oh. I don't know what those are. Those were no good. Were they? I, I can't remember. No, those, those were, were no good. good. Yeah. Those were good. <sighs> Just kind of stunned you. It makes you go bloop bloop. Da. Ooh. And they had a concept here. Not bad. Yeah, it's something. It's kind of like Sequest with, with yeah. a little bit of Oh, that just pushes you back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very much like Sequest, except the divers are the things at the bottom of the ocean, but they also can be bad. And a bit of the, a bit of, um, damn it, what's the one where you pick up like little dogs that run on the bottom of the, uh, you land on a planet? And you oh, yeah. Them into, oh. I can't really move that right now. Like, oh, I'm in trouble. Oh. oh. Oh, the animals just kind of stun you. Depends on what it is. So the sharks are okay. They just the the, the mines you kill you. Yeah. Probably the spaceships as well. Yeah. Or whatever that one did. Whatever that was. Cosmic, Cosmic Arc. Arc. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, the scanning reminds me of Cosmic Arc. And then Sequest for the rest of it. For going to the surface and shooting things. It's kind of a remix of already... Oh, yeah. Get those too. Maybe you're like picking up alien technology. Under Maybe. The... No. Oh, 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 ah. oh, you're fine. Didn't die. There. No, I lost oh, it, I think. Oh, the shark took it from you. Maybe. Oh. Whoa. Change direction. Oh. Oh. Poor sharks and squids. They have nothing to do with this treachery that's afoot. Yeah. Doody. It's okay. What do you it's think? It's interesting. I think it's interesting. Yeah. It's yeah. got a bunch of elements that are cool. It's I think it's different, actually. I kind of like I like games that have a, at least a little bit of uniqueness, originality to them. Next one's good. Frankenstein's Monster. By Data Age as well. Made by the same guy who just did that one. J. Ray Detling. 112008.
go down, get the dot. Mm. Don't touch the everything. <laughs> Don't touch the everything. Now you can fall down if the log's right beneath it. That's right. I'm trying to remember this now. Mostly you want to jump across it. But you could jump across it and then fall down from the left because the log is there. You have to jump from you the... Jump Sorry, I, it. you have to jump down it, I think. Uh, no, you can jump across it. And then you can fall down. Oh. But not when a spider's there. Oh, you just missed that. Now you've you have got to get back up, right? the block. Well, that's actually a brick. Yeah, you have to get to the top and build up the uh, wall. Oh. oh. For no. uh. the monster. Bermuda Triangle had a little bit more to it than I thought. Yeah, it was not bad. Actually, it looked pretty good, if you ask me. Biggest uh, monster ever in the 2600. Nice. It is challenging, but playable. Yeah, you just gotta get... Yeah, it's a very challenging game. But you get used to it. Oh, come on. Ah! Too, oh, I thought that was too early. You just barely made that. Jump that spider. Wiggle up that rope. Don't hurry. The spider's gonna lap, hop around. Oh, just in time. Place that brick. Get over there. Place some sword quest. Have to get up to the top. Oh, we this do? This is literally a level in Sword Quest. Is it? Ah! Yeah. Ah! No! No! <laughs> oh, no! almost! No! Oh, the bat! How? 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 It's hard, but... Oh. Dave M. A. Z. I could never beat this one. I think we did beat it. Oh, oh other quite. side. Boo! Yeah, the other side. Boo! Oh, that Frankenstein's monster is angry! He's oh. filling up. You can jump the spider. Mm. Wasting time. True. His legs are green. <laughs> oh! I jumped! I heard a jump. Silliness. But it was too late. It was too late. Is Frank naked now? Uh. Oh. Oh, you it. don't die. That's good. Yes. Oh, oh, that no. didn't work either. It's perfectly. <sighs> My turn. Yeah, it's a good game. We played it quite a bit, if I recall. We did. It's a we fun, did. fun we game. We did finish at least the first level. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Oh, we got got through a couple of them. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty fun. Is Frank naked? He looks pretty naked. Oh, I jumped. I know. See? Sensitive. Very sensitive. If you touch that hole, you're dead. So you, there is no, like, foot over the hole, it, there is no foot over the hole. It's like, the edge of your foot is where you die. So you have to jump when your foot it just touches the hole. Like, not even touches it, like, before it touches it. I like that you can jump onto the rope. That is very, yes. very good. Is it really neat? People are oh, frozen. Come on. There we go. Bats, bats. I remember playing this and getting to the top, but it is a pain in the butt. It is. Well, I did get to the top eventually, but yeah, yeah it is It is hard. So that one you can do this. Yes. You have to jump to it's it. It's hard, though, because you have to time it out right. Oh. oh, you have to go back. Yeah, good times. Oh, learning it all again. Like, the spider freezes you. Which is fine. But it doesn't at least kick you back to... Um, the beginning. So just like Pitfall, you have to back up and jump. And that one, you have to be at the front. It's actually a really good platformer. It is. Because there's a lot of variety going on. What is he doing? I don't know. Being a cat. Cat! Kitties! Come over here! Oh, he's unleashed his bats upon me! No, I want to play more! Oh, I think you have to get up to him. Maybe. You have to get up, no, to the top. I thought I did. Maybe nope. a bat just pushed me. No, nope, I'm at did. the top! No, you have to get to the top. You have to get to the other side of that brown thing. The middle? Yeah, the middle. Like, you have to hit there. Oh, you have to touch the brown. You have to touch the brown thing. I'm going to play till I die. Everything steals your points. Yeah. Damn, 
Damn it. That's, you die. Okay, there we go. <laughs> really good game. I like it. It's getting a check mark. Next one's Shootin' Gallery. Not shooting. Shootin'. Shootin', shootin', shootin'. Yep. Ready. Everything steals your points. Oh. Sprite makes the same noise as one of my cats does. Every time he meows, I think it's in my house. Aww. Aww. Okay, shoot the things. You have bullets. You get more points for, I think, the train and the thing at the top. You can shoot the clock, too. I don't know. It's a shooting game. It's a shooting gallery. It's okay. I played it some a bit today. If you shoot the uh, engine on the train, the whole thing disappears. So I'm guessing you get more points for that. Or and probably more points for the monkey because he's really hard to shoot because he keeps moving. Do 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 do. Oh, that's it. Oh, it's counting your points. There you go. Keep going. Today's a little tune. Cute. The animation on that little slug creature is pretty fun. good. Kind of a good kids game. It's pretty yeah, simple. I'd say it's a kids game. RC70 says, well, it's a cool looking screen. Game looks confusing as hell, but major points for presentation. I'm guessing that's the Frankenstein's monster. Yeah. Oh, not great. <laughs> oh, 26. You get to the next level. No, this one. Oh. Yeah, it is it's, a really nice looking screen. Yeah, it's got a I lot think of it looks really colors. good, actually. So 26 something? Well, I think I was trying to shoot the uh, clock and realized that wasn't a thing. No, it is. It is. You get points for it. Yeah, um, but I. Not very many, I don't think. I don't think you get many. Is it You get the most for the monkey and the thing at the top. 100, 100, 1,000. 1,000 for the train? Yeah. 100. Oh, so you have to shoot the... 1,000, 1,000, oh, 5,000. What? Well, that was right at the end. Oh, wow, so the train is huge. Do you get them all? Like, every every piece? You have to shoot the pieces of the train. Okay. And then the train itself, uh, the the engine. Got to play game four for a challenge. Okay. Okay. We'll go to there. Cause... Yeah. no train. Is that why it's a challenge? Because there's hardly any points to get? It's just a s slug and the monkey. You oh, there's much. the train. Oh. oh, my god, it's eating my bullets. Oh, I think I have to get the monkey and then I get the train. Now you have more bullets again. Ah. <laughs> Why are you eating my bullets? So get the monkey, then you get the train. Okay. That's an easy pattern. Shoot monkey for train. Yeah. Easy pattern. Easy peasy. Come on. Give me my control back. Oh. Went crazy. Oh, I still play? Yeah. yeah. Now the train's crazy fast. Oh, very fast. Now the monkey. Now the train. <laughs> it's a, a little harder, I guess. Not much harder, though. Let's do the same thing over and over again. Because that's the most points. Oh my god. Monkey. Train. Oh. Out. Nope. Is that it? That's it. Uh, it's something. <laughs> Do you win an absurdly large and overpriced, overpriced plushie if you score yeah. well? Yes, I think yeah, you should. Yeah, worth one dollar. Um, that was meh. Hmm. Um... The, I think it looks pretty good. The next game, you play with a joystick and two paddles, mm -hmm. which is crazy. You can play three Sorry, players at once. One person, please, with no. a, 
Because I'm trying to figure out how you would do that. Three players at once. Cool. I didn't think it was that bad. I thought that was kind of kind of neat it's looking. It's simple. Yeah, but nice. It yeah. looked nice. There's more to see on the screen. Okay, next game is G.I. Joe. Gotcha. Cobra Strike by Parker Brothers. Last one was Magic. Oh my god. That's a bad, bad Magic game. I don't think it was a bad. Why? I don't know why you keep saying it was bad. By John Emerson, PB5920, also known as Action Man, Action Force, because G.I. Joe's too scary. Okay. So, you control the gun. Do I? Yep. Get it. Point. Oh, maybe it's paddles in uh, port one. Both paddles. Okay. We'll reset the time. Joy paddles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the joy of using the menus with the paddles is not great. <laughs> That's better. Who's playing the, the joystick? Oh, I think I have to reset. But where, where's the joystick? Um, maybe joystick port too. Yeah. You said there's joystick and paddles. Yeah. Okay. Was this not working in port one? Oh, you're... okay. You're firing. You are firing. Oh, I'm supposed to protect? Yeah, you're supposed to protect the Oh men. my god, how? <laughs> it's so... Oh my god! It just floats. It just floats. It's, it's so floaty. Something's weird. I don't think we have the controls right. No, it was like this in Stella. But it, uh, there's only one thing being controlled. This is terrible. Oh my lord, this is this is bad. This is how it's supposed to play. It I, is. It's I really, floaty. It's so because floaty. It's, because it's too easy to block <gasps> them if you have full control, so it kind of moves on its own. So you kind of have to it's swipe awful. it. It's awful. <laughs> But you need you need you need to control the shot. Yeah, because you're you are shooting with the button, right? Well, here. Supposed to be teaming up on this. I don't know what the heck is going on here. And this is oh, really nothing. Uh, yeah, I, th I thought it said like three. Maybe we do have it flipped. Oh, I have to switch back again. I don't know. Because it's working. Like, I am aiming with the bullet. You hold it down. Yeah. And you aim at the snake head. And then you, you protect your guys. Because once you shoot the bullet, you can aim it. It's, the game is actually pretty good when you get used to the controls. Yeah, it's not bad. You're doing two yeah, things at once. Yeah, but it's killing once. all your guys at the bo bottom. Yeah, I did that. Yeah. Because I just figured it out halfway through. Oh. Oh. This reminds me of uh, Beachhead, if anybody has played mm. Beachhead. Because you're, you are protecting guys that are running across mm. um, and shooting at the enemies and get them. It is a cobra. <laughs> oh, yeah. And a Cobra. very, very good use of graphics for the snake body. It's very um, pineapple-y. It is. Pineapple and... Mango? Pineapple mango? First level! Done! Spritzer? Now it's a green snake! The settings mustn't be right, Atari 2600 dude says. Well, I am it, playing it something now. Something is weird. Something is no, definitely weird. I'm playing it now. Are you? Yeah, 100%. I'm blocking the shots. Yeah, and not then you, easily. Then I'm shooting the snake. But there's supposed to be two, two players, level. Yeah, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. That's what I don't know is that's not working well. No, yeah. there is no player two. Not right now. No. 
Yeah. Because there's a second gun, and I'm, I'm guessing the second player controls. Oh, that snake's moving now. Yeah, I'm not controlling it. Now we tried it in port one and port two, and it didn't. Work. It's probably on the um, yeah, the settings. This yes, a, a it's single... probably just a single player setting. It is hard though, getting that thing to block the shot. Yeah, you kind of have to move and then move, move again. Move back, yeah. That cobra is moving now, yeah. Oh, yeah. Funny GI Joe, that is so funny. You're doing pretty well, I think. Now you've gotten used to it. We're gonna get two shots. Game now. select, probably. Ah, uh, we're not gonna play with that. 30 no. seconds left. You can, uh, Very, very weird I'll controls. Leave, leave that to an exit for not a great exercise game. for the students. <laughs> not a great game. No, I like it. Really? Yeah. Uh, we have opposite feelings on games then. <laughs> I like that shooting game. I thought that was played really Too well. simple. Oh, it was nice. This is, like, just weird with the floaty, the shooting and the floaty, uh... Well, they can't make it perfect because it would be too easy walking that shot. You get it every time. Yeah. As it is now, I'm getting it every Divorce, time. Divorce, RC7, he says. I like yep. G.I. Joe, Rawr! you don't. Bleh. That's it. Yeah, the Cobra graphics do look awesome. Oh, they're really good in detail. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to give it a check mark, but it's good. Mm. Um, next one is mm. Subscan by <laughs> Sega. So we have to change to joystick. Which is better for the menu. I like that you sang Sega. Because you have to. Mm. Now, what I version love. is that from? Sega. Um, Sega. It's from uh, Sega Genesis. Mm. I don't think they did use it for a master system. Uh, Subscan. Yeah, the last color. Oh my, it's another ocean game. <laughs> it's either racing or ocean. What am I doing? Throwing That's stuff in the for water? for you to find out. Are you throwing them? Yeah. So there's no enemies that I can see. Well, there's looks like there's there are enemies. There's a scanner. Oh, they're coming. Drop them. Throw them over the right-hand side. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's gonna be hard getting that bottom guy. Ooh, got the top guy. From over the right hand side, left hand side. No! So it's burning wood again. It smells. No! That was terrible. Oh, yes, they count down. It went from 10 to 7 because you missed three of them. Um, this is Subscan, released in March of 83. Uh, nobody knows who made the game. It's also known as Subterfuge. Is that an old-timey pirate ship against the modern subs? It sure looks like it. Or an aircraft carrier? Get him! Oh, yeah. yeah. Now you get better at it. it. Takes a little bit. It's like a very slow shooter. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can see them coming. So you can anticipate and throw a bunch down. Nice. So you have three bombs at once, and they slowly replenish. Ugh. Because they have to load up the bombs. Uh-oh. Got one at the bottom. Oh, you're going to miss it. Hi, little cat. Come here. Come here. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh. Get him. It's very nice. satisfying. <laughs> when you get it? Yeah. Oh, I bet. It's a very timing-based game. Very, very timing. Because if you miss, it's like, oh, God, it's going to take another 10 seconds to shoot that guy. Um... Yeah, Subterfuge is a much better name. Usually the alternate names... Oh, come uh, on! That almost got him. The alternate names are for, like, pirate copies or sometimes released in other countries, too. Because, you know, some names don't work in other countries. Ooh. Oh, oh, big bad guy. Get that guy. Sounds bad. Making lots of noises. Get that guy at the bottom. Oh, that might get him. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking real good. End of level. Nice. Not a shooter, a bomb lobber. Or a blobber, as I just coined. Nice. <laughs> I like blobber. They've been using the chant in commercial since the SG-1000. Oh, really? I did not know that. That's way back. Well, what is the Sega Master System? That's the SG-3000. Is it SG-3000? Oh, thank you. Oh, 
might miss it. Might miss it. Throw another one. Oh, oh just yeah. caught it. Yeah, SG3000 equals Master System. Yeah. It's very hard to find Master System games in Canada. And when you do find them, they're so expensive. No. No! Get over there. Uh, you only have four left. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Oh, that one just missed that sub at the bottom. I saw it explode. And it was like right in front of it. Mm. G.I. Joe is Action Man here in Australia, hence the name change to the game. That's what I thought. I think it was Action Man also in uh, the UK as well. I mean, we had G.I. Joe in Canada because you can't. Oh, I exploded. Too many got oh, through. Oh, no. Sega. Sega. You want to try? It's pretty no, fun. Oh, you got 18 seconds. Yeah, that looked pretty uh. good. Sega Mark III. Mark III. Not the SG-3000? That's a whole different thing. Mm. Um, I have to import a lot of the good Ma Sega Master System games. Yeah, a lot of them were European releases. Tons of PAL Sega Master System games. This is a floating subway shop. They're throwing gross-smelling bread at the enemies. Watch out, watch out, there's a kitten! Oh, kitten. Recently. Recently. Oh, no, no. There. Yeah. Next oh. one's tax scan. Well, I stand because of the cap. What? Tax scan? Tax scan. Oh, not sub scan. Tax scan. Oh, another Sega game. Sega. Uh, yep, another Sega game. Yeah, go my lap. Oh, I can't get up. There. I know. I know. Uh, oh, it's a paddle in the right port. Oh. So you have to turn it that off. That one? Yeah. Oh, you have to turn it off? Yeah. Turn it off. But at least you'll be able to select it. Maybe that's why they... Uh... Is it off? Yeah. Okay. Plug it in to the right port. Dis I'm disabled by the cat. The right port? Yep. Correct. Turn it on. There you go. And select tax scan. I've got an injured cat on my lap. Aww. I just... I can't move. I'm weighed down. If I remember, this is not a terrible shooter. Okay. Hopefully it's couch compliant. There you go. So you got five ships to shoot with, which is pretty cool. But you're also a big target. Try nervous. And uh, shoot the ships, avoid being shot. All right, are you cute? Um, tax scan, March 1983, uh, made by Jeff Lorenz. Ah. Whoa! Cool. The box for Taxcan was unusually tall compared to most other Atari boxes. Oh, interesting fact. Ooh, that guy looks like a huge shooter. Oh, you lost a ship. Oh, you're so cute. Oh. Oh, you got gained a ship. Oh, that was close. Oh, I, you've had so many treats, little baby cat. You have lots of treats. Cool. Yep. The control, I really like it. Great I use really of paddle, like eh? the paddle control. Great star field. Now it's black, which is the proper way it's supposed to be, not, not a blue. That looks awesome. Okay, there is no auto fire. <laughs> which is a big pain in the ass. Um, great explosion. The screen flashes. Um, your ships look pretty good. It's got like exhaust. <gasps> ah, oh my god, that took out like so many of them. Oh, two of them. Oh, I, there's something about the paddles. Like, pushing this button just hurts my hand so much. It's not in a good spot. <sighs> Same with the uh, Epix joystick. That the paddle position on the Epix joystick makes my hand hurt so much because it's... Oh, oh you, you got, got two. Because you have to wrap your hand around it, just like there. Charles Lynn says, looks good. I have to try this one. Dave says, love this one. Shoot three enemies for with one shot for big points. Three enemies with one shot? How would you do that? You get lots of men. No! Yeah, they'd all have to be. Lined up. Oh, ah! oh. oh. Oof, the hand. It goes after a while. That is cool. Hi! Are you enjoying the game? He's enjoying the game. Oh, sweaty. He's sweaty. sweaty paddle. Me? Oh. No. Sweaty paddle. All sides, maybe. Yes. Yeah, because my hand gets all crampy. This uh, is crampy excellent Atari shooter. hand. <laughs> This is an excellent shooter. It is really cool. I, I really like it. I have never played a shooter with paddles before. Have you played this game before? I have. Yeah. But only on emulator, wow. I think. More treats are required. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Yes. He really wants his treats. He did skip two meals. 
He did. We did give him a little bit of food, but we were told not to give him too much today. So be vomiting. We, 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 no, he's been fine. He'll, uh, we might be able to give him a bit more um, before bed and see how he does. Oh, my hands getting bad now. Or maybe when the show is in, we'll give him a little bit and then a little bit more later, so he's not eating yeah. too much at once. Poor little guy. He also had treats. I, I feel like. He's completely uh, unaffected, so... I have to change hands. I know, I know, it hurts. Oh, it's bad with this hand. Ah, it hurts I'm dying hand. with this hand. Oh, kittens! Oh. I'm guessing the flashing guys give you uh, extra ships back. Yes, I think they do. Because I shot one Yeah, flashing you only got gun. one? Yeah. Oh. What was... Oh, I have to dock them. Oh, my God. You do have to dock them. <sighs> I messed that up bad. That, did I get it? I don't think I got it. Oh no, I'm down to two. Gets yes. hard. Gets hard oh, fast. Oh, I'll put you there. Oh, next one. You go there. That's a cool thing that you have oh. to dock your ship. Flashing guys have 500 point bonus. Okay, so he's a bonus. You just get more points. You want to keep, keep it. playing. You want to keep playing. It's real. Oh, oh, you're in purple. Purple space. Sky purple. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, easy. They also take out more ships. Oh, my thumb. No, I, I think I'm gonna have to stop. <laughs> Wow, this is fun. Really fun. Really good game, but the controls, bad news. Oh, oh, I got one more ship. They're very generous with the ships. Oh my god, that's why. Hi. Hi. You get to give this one a check mark. King kid, yes. Let's give you King Kid. Uh, oh god, I'm He is a one. prince. He is a prince. King. Uh, yes, I need more. I'll keep them on the left so they're together. Keep that one in the middle so not spread out. Right, so I can avoid the shots. A little? You're oh, a little. How many do I get? You get them all back. Really? Wow. That's really generous. It is getting really hard, though. Oh, yeah. You need them. <gasps> oh, gone. Oh, gone. Oh, 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 God. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, 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 such a good game. That's a really yeah, good shooter. That was worth playing longer than five minutes. That gets a check mark. That is excellent. I really like that game a lot, actually. There are so many good games this round. Yes. Last was episode. Trash. No. This this episode, fantastic. Really impressed. No. A lot of games I don't can. know either. Yeah. Uh, Killer Satellite. This is a Star Path Supercharger game, so it should have very good graphics. All right. Uh, nope. No, no, no. Nice trees. Okay. This looks like Defender. Oh, another Defender. Yeah, it's Defender. It's de there's no um, radar, though. There's houses. They're probably going to invade your houses. Um, this is uh, March 83 by Kevin Norman. Um, AR4103. There is a radar. Oh, there is? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's just empty. Until something comes. Very simple radar. Oh, did you just kill that thing instantly? I don't know, but I did. So you shot, something disappeared, and you went to the next level. Oh, interesting font. It's a really huge font. Look at that, too. It's Defender. Very slow. Very one-at-a-time Defender. Oh, they're so slow. Look at this. I mean, okay graphics. Yeah, it looks fine. I like the score display. Yeah, yeah so I do, do I. The font's really nice. Definitely Charles Bird. It's weird that it's Ooh. black up top, but then there's like a gray layer, and then there's the houses. Is that supposed yeah. to represent the Earth's atmosphere? The atmosphere, like the cloud layer? I don't know. And you're Stratosphere? In, and you're in space defending Maybe. the Earth? Maybe. That would make the most sense. Oh, you have a laser overheating. Do I? Yeah. So you gotta watch that. It's 
slowly goes down. Very slowly. The enemies are so slow moving and slow to appear. There's like five seconds without an enemy yeah, there. Let's we'll see if it ramps up. Ah! It's like a real easy defender. <laughs> this proves Earth is flat. This game, definitely indisputable proof. That Earth is flat. That Star, star Path Supercharger. That Star Path knew the knew the that was going a little bit faster. Oh now they're appearing. More than one. Oh god. I went too fast. Yeah, that's one way to kill it. Music was okay there. Oh, you're moving so fast. There's no need to move fast. That's true. They move so slowly. I'm thinking this is Defender. It's not. I mean, maybe it will get crazier. Mm. Oh, now there's more coming down. Oh! Much more than before. It's still so slow. Very cool. Oh, one got really far down. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't tell you how far down they are. So you have to move over to them. Um, cool. Dan, Dan ABC stepped away. What's this game? Killer satellites. It's something. It's not bad. Next one's Entombed by US Games. Uh, also called Maze Chase, Pharaoh's Tomb, Zombie. Okay. Um, you read, I'll show you how to play right. this. It's well, you play it, you play it. Okay, you're In two. Go ahead. Your little dude, um, you can destroy or add blocks. Ooh, oh, nice. Oh, this, this seems like a game you would really like. Uh-oh. So, I have to make a path. I'll make it through there. Then I pick up a block. Now I have another block to make a path. Oh. And I can... I can destroy a block, or I can make one, too. I have another one. I have five blocks. You can pick those up, then? Yes. Just don't touch those dudes. So you have to make your way through this maze. But this might come to a dead end. Oh. And I have to get myself out of that dead end. So the cat's running around upstairs and shouldn't be that cat. Mm. Uh -oh. So I do want that one, but it's too far away. Oh, I need to make... Oh, can I get it? Nope. You don't want to be squished off the screen. Ooh, I want that one. Because you get more than one. Okay. So, uh, I think you get two? Two or three? Oh, God. It's a fun two-player game. It's a two-player game? Apparently. Oh! Well, we're going to do that. Because that's much more fun. I don't know. Probably die. Thank you for letting me know. So, I guess the reason to put a block down is to block enemies. Yep. Some of them can go through walls, though. Entombed. Made by Jeff Korska, Paul L. Newell, Steve B. Sidley, and Tom Sloper. Okay, nope. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Come on. Okay, press the button. I am yellow. Tanya is pink or purple, depending on your point of view. I like lavender. Lavender. Very it's a lavender. smell and a color. It is. It's a terrible smell. It is a terrible smell. So uh, the maze is drawn exactly the same on both sides. Okay. So if you get rid of a block, I get that block taken away as, as well. I have oh. no extra block, so you have to do the the moving. So get that, get that one. So you're gonna have to be my guide. I'm gonna have to follow you. Oh your... God! Oh God! Yep. There you go. Thank you. I want to get that one, so I have some options. Okay. There we go. Much better two-player game than one, because you have to kind of coordinate a bit the other person. I so if I destroy a block, does it destroy on your side too? Yes. <gasps> yeah, it's perfectly Neat. even. Neat. So you can kind of go down the same path as the other person. There's some article that's been floating around, it keeps coming up, and, and it's like, oh, we don't know how they made the paths. It's like super, super complicated, and I'm like... I tried reading the article, and I'm like, well, can you just not look at the code and watch the code? No, 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 no. You're going to die. Oh, I died. Oh. <laughs> I guess we both died. No, nope, you still have an extra life. Reflected playfield. Yeah, that is correct. Chonky reflected playfield. Get that, because that gives. Uh, uh, uh. 
Oh, why do I get caught? It is very sticky. The maze is very sticky. Ooh, I'm gonna have to go through here. I might as well get that one, because mm -hmm. I'm already there. You got eight now. Do I need to get one? It's good for you to get the next one if it's on your side. Ooh, that's where it don't get no. down. It's not worth getting. It's behind too many walls. Watch out for that dude. I need that one. Get it. Thank you. Welcome. Because I've got tons. Um, yeah. I... The dates that we're going by... I'll go the same way. Is... It gets very fast. Oops. <gasps> God damn it. Sorry. Did you put that there? Yes. Accidentally. The dates on the... Sorry. I, I didn't... I, you happened? were talking. I, no, I just died. I didn't move oh. down fast enough. Ah. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh no, smush mush. Yeah, the, the dates that I have for these games are the earliest known advertised dates. Oh. Sorry, I pressed it twice. No, that's fine. Um, so... Oh god. Oh god, no! Oh no! Sorry. It's alright. Oh, you have the last life. Oh nope. no! All done. One dead, no. all dead. <laughs> all right. It's a cool game. It is. It has, it has some stuff to it. Um, next one is Piece of Cake. Oh, paddle. Oh, my God. So annoying, switching them back and forth. It's the last paddle game. All ready. Uh, piece of Cake. Piece O Cake. Made by U.S. Games as well. Uh, VC no, 2005. Oh. And we don't know who made it. One more. Oh, oh. Oh, skip the screen. Oh, no. Oh. Where is it? No, oh, there right. it is. <laughs> right above. No, no, I, I couldn't see it last time. Pretty creative game concept. Yeah. I love the destruction it's of walls. Fun. It's pretty fun. Okay, go for it. <gasps> oh, my okay. gosh. You have to stack cakes. Um, How? You get the thing in the th and then drop it onto the thing. And you want to put ev uh, equal pieces or smaller pieces. And then you have to put a cherry on top, uh, which is on the right-hand side. Oh, here? And then drop it. Drop it. Yay, and that's a cake. How many How many do I have to stack? Three? Uh, you can stack zero if you want. You just get more points if you stack. Oh. And that's smaller, so that means you can't put a oh bigger one. God. But that's okay now. Good. And a cherry. Because it's not a cake without a cherry. Oh, you missed. Oh, no. That's cool. <laughs> it's it's like... Uh, what's that Activision um, game? Um, fast food one? Where you're making burgers. Oh, come on. Oh, don't put that on top. I have to put a cherry. Oh, I, I, I'm missing the cherry. No, I need to try again. You can't, <laughs> let me just... I'm trying to get the, the feel of the game here. You're like, no, give me it! No. Give it to me! You do that all the time. Pressure cooker, yes. Hard game. Oh, I'm so glad I got the uh, patch for pressure cooker. That was... So hard to get that patch. Oh gosh, it's so slow. Yay, Kate. Finally got one. Well, it's the first one. I think so. Oh my god. Oh, because you have to get it before it crosses. Okay. Ah, uh, cherry. Tiny little cherry. Yay. It's cute. It is cute. I like much, it, actually. Probably gets Pressure much cooker. faster. That oh pedal desperately so needs cleaning. I don't think so. It's very jerry. It's not jittery. It's just very fast. Jittery, he would be going like this. But he's not. Or is he? Candy's doing that. No, I'm not doing that. I'm barely moving it. The graphics for that guy is unbelievable. Like, this mustache and eyes is so good. And he's got little hands and eyebrows in the garbage. You have to get really early. Whoever's taking the cake is like, this is no cake. Garbage. 
Yeah, that is probably the best character graphics. Isn't it beautiful? In any game. It looks fantastic. I was like, is this really an Atari 2600? Like, like even any homebrew. <gasps> I don't think I've seen better graphics for a person in a homebrew or any game look ever at, made on the 2600. Mustache. And he turns. He's fantastic. The only thing that could be made better if he changed his eyebrows to be mad when a cake goes down the pit. Like he's concerned right now, right? He always and he could, he could get. They should have made him mad. Oh, just in time. Yeah. Can anybody think of a better graphic for a. Oh. oh. oh what is going on? Pick it up! <laughs> you picked it up twice. No, I don't think. I, I can't tell if you're supposed to run across it or hit the button. Here, sorry, I didn't mean to hit that. It's like no, you just you just run across. It. Run across the cherry because it wasn't it's only picking for dropping. up. It wasn't. See? Oh, it's not. Oh, you have to. What is happening? Oh, you have to press it for the cherry. You have to hold it. Nope, holding it drops it. I just but that's, that. But you have to touch it and just press it once. Yeah, it's very weird. No. Not done. Oh, he wants to play. I love that. Because had, I've had 10 seconds to play. So? Because you took all the time. You was trying to figure out how to play it. Yeah, you have to press the button just a little bit. Yeah, you have to be very light touch. Footbag Guy in California Games was pretty yeah. good. Ooh, yes. We'll have to see when we play California Games. He looks so stressed out. But this out. guy's much bigger than the guy <laughs> in California Games. Yeah. He's so stressed. This is way too fast for me. Is there a crock pot base game? Oh <laughs> Slow crock pot cutting, cooking. Crock pot cooking. Come back in four hours. Yeah. Now, there's something extra special about it. Mm -hmm. It looks like his mustache is like floating on top of his face. Like something is, something is very special. Oh no 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 no! Oof! Just in time. Just in time. That's a cupcake right there. It is a little jittery. You don't have to it's use it. What? Like the little ones. No, you can you just You don't lose it... anything if you just drop it, right? Uh, no. No, you don't have to use it. It's Long a very, very small cake. It's a cake, though. It's making me want cake. Oh, yeah, we don't have any that? cake. Cake. <sighs> yum. Yummy, yummy cake. I haven't had cake in a long time. No, oh, I haven't I lost either. A life. Oh, did I have donut. Have did have donut on my birthday, though. That was nice. Yeah. What's cake? up? You want a cake? You oh, want cake I too? Yeah, you cake. You want cake? Yeah, cake. Cake? <laughs> Piece of cake is what the name Piece of this game is. Okay. It is pretty interesting, actually. Yeah. Oh. Oh no, cherry. No. Oh. Uh, oh, that's my life. Oh, calm, 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 peace, serenity. Not a bad game. It's pretty cool. We didn't make it very far. Um, I'm not going to give it a check for me. Really? No. I thought it was great. Watch out. There's a cat. There's a cat in there's your seat. There's a cat. He's and a cat. he's this. Oh, he flopped. On my spot? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Of course he did. Next one's Raft Rider. Okay. So snuggle up next to you, I guess. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, little oh, kitty. Oh, reset this. So, uh, get the flashing things. Avoid the moose and the rocks, I guess. Uh, by U.S. Games as well. Uh, March 1983, VC 2006 by Dave Hampton. No, quit looking at the treats. I don't Lots understand. Of US games. I don't understand. No, steer. that killed me. You said get the flashing thing. Nope, that no. flashing thing killed me. Everything seems to kill me. That's odd. You'd think flashing things are the things you need to get. Maybe you have to hit it with your stick. Oh, you went to the shore. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Good music. <gasps> it's a beaver on the shore. Watch out for that beaver. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Rafting, you're getting points. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Clever use of negative space for his pants. Because they made his pants the color of the water. It's a way to get two things on one line. 
How do you steer in this game, Nostalgic is asking. I'm not really sure. Yes, what did you do after I hit it? I don't know. Did you lose a life? I think I did. Yeah, because you only have one life. You're kind of... You're kind of... It, it's it's weird. I, I'm not really sure what's going on. Those are landmines, apparently. <laughs> like, I seem to be steering up and down. It's not instant steering, so you have no. to plan ahead. Like, I'm going down, but then I, you kind of go backwards a little. Oh, moose. Watch uh -oh. out for the moose. Get up there. Another moose. It warns you of moose. Don't err. Oh, oh, I just made it. What are you doing? Oh, you're after my pen. Yeah, that hit me. My turn! Yeah, I think you do get the flashing things, but I'm not really sure how that's working. Reset, please. I have oh. a cat. Oh! More cat. It's cute. The sounds are great. I'm finding these games this round, even the ones that aren't great, intriguing. have something intriguing and creative about them. Yeah. The flashing triangles make me think of speed boosts. I'd be tempted to go straight in them. We are conditioned oh to see anything flashing as being helpful, which is not necessarily the case, but... Can I touch it? I don't know. Try it. It makes everything go away, I think. Nope. I think you lose a life, though. Oh, the beaver! Down! It's so cute. The beaver makes noise, then the, mo the, the moose, moose make mo noise. Oh, don't bite me! I guess I did cause your problems Man. today, though. Oh, oh, are you kidding? Oh, don't, 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 don't. You're in a mood. Are the drugs wearing off? Are you in a bad Need mood Need more now? drugs. Give me the more drugs. Oh, sweet cat. Mom, give me the drugs. <laughs> oh, my sweet cat. Illegally prescribed to me. <laughs> Oh, he's rubbing. I don't know what he's up to. It's he's being very not silly. It's a terrible game. It's, it's a very weird. relaxing game. It, it, you kind of just float along, and your steering is very slow. Because yeah. it, it is like you're, 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 I don't know, pushing yourself through the water. Oh Watch out. What happens if you hit the moose? Oh, Ooh. Ooh, very Thank close. I just barely didn't. It's very hard to position yourself in this game. RC70 says agreed. I'm liking a lot of these games. I am. Yep. They're Me all too. really... Uh, none of these uh. games... <sighs> I can't think of any really stink... Real stinkers. No. I mean, we still have two to play, so there's still no room. One more. This One more? second to last. Gotcha. They're all interesting. It's kind of like uh, at this point in 83, the game makers were hitting their stride, you know? Yeah. Even if they weren't great game makers, their games were getting slightly better. <laughs> Am I speeding up and slowing down? Yeah. No. 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 How can the rocks be moving at different speeds? <laughs> One of those um, isn't a rock. That should be colored brown if they parallax, want to make logs. That's all? They're parallax? Oh. They could be logs floating? It could be parallax. doesn't seem to be, though. I don't know. No, it doesn't. Really. It could be floating logs. There must be some things that you have to get in this game, and we're just not... Like, those flashing things... Dave makes a good point. Uh, it's a good batch of games because we skip Far World. <laughs> yeah. Hit it. Hit it. Do it. Oh, I die. Do you? I'll get the next one. I have oh, no lives left, know. though. So it's true. I have one second. I'll wait till the next flashing thing. So I only have one more game after this. Ooh, true. You kind of have to steer as you get past them, because there's only so many positions... Moosey moose. Smack that moose. Come on, flashy thing. Let's see what you do. Oh, there's one. Up. 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 No, you now it did kill water. you. You oh, fall well. in the water. <laughs> Here. Thank you. Hi, how are you? I got in touch with Opco Games by email. I was told there was a chip shortage, so there won't be any new games for a while except ROMs. I was hoping you would know beside Taiwan, where else would we buy to buy more chips for more games? I think everybody's after the, uh, after the chips. Yeah. I don't Larry think I VGS can... says, you obviously you forgot Dishaster. Very oh, good point. It's... Very good point. That's true. <laughs> That's... I mean, it was kind of interesting. I say, I wouldn't say it's bad it's just boring it's you just want centipede boring. or is it a is no, it no. a go for it no i'm not a bit i'm not a fan of centipede so <laughs> okay i know people love it but um it's not my favorite game march 10th 
Mario Day. Yeah. Uh, by Atari, CX2676. And I, I don't have any information on who made this game. This is, is one of the beat? games... Mm. No, not the arcade game. The one person who made this. This port. Um, this is one of the games I did play back in the 80s. On the Atari. That is in 83 or 84. And it is uh, pretty fun, actually. It's a shooter. It, it's essentially a shooter. And what you want to do is kind of build a path for the centipedes to go down. Oof. Preferably down the middle. So that they have like a... Um, RC70 says, I've been going for the high score in this on the plus part. I'm in fourth right now. Good nice. for you, RC70. Good job. It's like a shooter mixed with space. Well, Space Invaders is a shooter, but they slowly, slowly go to the bottom. Um, but in this one, you can move out of the way when they get, a, get to the bottom. Thank you. Yay! Extra life! Oh, this that guy stop. Oh, see that? Yeah. See that? See that? See that? That's what you want. But I needed to be positioned in the middle. Okay. Oh, Whoa. bad! This game needs a fix! Maybe there's probably somebody who made a fix for this game. Too many things happen on the screen. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! Too many things. It's got um, flicker management. Yeah. It's got, it must have a ton of memory that they put in this because the screen can be filled with the mushrooms and also enemies. Mm -hmm. So you need a lot of RAM for that. Nostalgia 26 says this is a fairly good port of the arcade game. The mushrooms are the only thing handled oddly. Well, yeah. what are you gonna do? <laughs> they don't look like mushrooms to me. Everything else is like amazing. Pretty good. Spider's really good. Oh, fleas. Just fleas in this game. Fleas? Yeah, the things that drop down from the sky. Like uh, straight down? Yeah. I can't know what that is. Oh, oh, gotcha. Good job. Thank you. It's a shooter, so I have you some like natural ability to it. Just yeah. like, oh, shoot the things. Ah! <gasps> oh. There's a lot on the screen, though, and you can only go so far up the screen. Flee! Flee! Does this use the Sara chip? Or Sarah Chess. Uh, I don't know the technology behind this game. It would be very easy to figure out what bank switching it uses. I didn't write any of the bank switching down, that would be so much time to do that <laughs> for every game. I focused mainly on the company that made it and the programmers. Psst, psst, psst. Stop being so bad! Your vet said you're not supposed to be too, you're not supposed to be too active. I was supposed to do that. Drug that cat. Yeah, no kidding. Calm kittens. Calm oh. kittens. Well, you've hit the end. Yep. But you're enjoying yourself. So That's we'll right. How are you doing? You let me play for a bit. How are you doing, black cat? How are you feeling? Poor guy. If there are at least five mushrooms in the lower third of the screen, the dropper guy won't show up. Oh, the mm. dropper guy? Yeah. I mean the the, the um, that guy, that guy, the the spider, or do you mean the flea? So I guess that means you don't want to shoot mm. the mushrooms at the bottom. Looks like it's not. It's just really tight on the rim, which is awesome for all that stuff. Yeah. It has 128 bytes of RAM. Maybe. This 
says it's really tight on the ram. Wow. Get that last one though. <laughs> it was too far over, and there's. Oh, a... you got an extra life. Just in time. Just in time. Ten thousand. I love how it counts the mushrooms too. Mm. So good. I'm gonna look up this afterwards. Mm. Can somebody look up how? Like somebody. 120 bytes according to the disassembly. Wow. There we go. I did not great, but it's a super fun game. Yep. I'm gonna give it a check mark. Yeah. It's a Ooh. great shooter. So. What did we find out today? What uh, there were a lot of good games. There were games that were not so good, but yeah. um, uh, especially the dish spinning game. But again, points for originality. <laughs> it was unique. That was unique. Other than uh, Far World, which we are like oh, absolutely well. not. Yeah. Dishaster so my... has a great name too. So. So my favorite yeah. ones were Tron Deadly Disc. Yeah. Ms. Pac-Man. Adventure of Tron, okay. Frankenstein's Monster, Tax Scan, the shooter, space yes. shooter, and Centipede. Yes, I like Pete. others that you wanted to add? I liked Piece of Cake. Yes. Uh, for the look of it, I think it was oh a my really... Oh the graphics were amazing. Amazing game. I want to play more of it, actually. I thought that was fun. I just need to get used to the, the play. Yeah. The Star Wars Jedi Arena... <laughs> Even though it was kind of hard to get the feel of it, it was. I really thought it looked great. And it like, looks if great. Yeah. as a kid, if I knew that was there with a lightsaber, I oh would my have lost God. my mind. That's probably the first game you can play with a lightsaber. A lightsaber. Yeah, first and a lightsaber two-player game, game at home. So I think of all of them. You've mentioned a lot of games that I think are just good games. We've we're played them before, but those are the two games that stood out to me because I've never seen them oh, before. We're supposed to play Water World today. Oh, we'll play. I think we we're gonna flip them. We'll we'll get it another. We'll play day. it tomorrow. Yeah. Because there's another game that I missed, which we played, uh, real sports, football, but, but it was actually real sports soccer labeled for Canada. Oh yes, we played the wrong one. That's because okay. We'll catch up football on football here. Actually, football in the rest of the world <laughs> is, soccer. is soccer. Yes. So we played the wrong one because it was a Canadian one. So when it comes to real sports soccer, yeah. we we'll played the football. Yeah, we'll flip it. Yeah. But yeah, we do. We we did play Fire World instead of Earth World yeah. or Water World. Anyway, we played the wrong one. Yeah. So we'll have to play Water World. Yeah. Next which is episode fine. as Fire well. World. Yeah. Yeah. And next episode is also the real sports soccer where we'll play football. Yeah. Um yeah, Star Wars Jedi Arena. It's one you'd add. And the yep. cake. Piece of cake. And yep. the piece of cake. Uh the uh, like the other ones you mentioned, Frankenstein's monster was great. Uh Tax Scan was, was good, Centipede was good. They they're just games I already know, so they don't feel unique to me, I guess. Yeah. Miss Pac Man, wonderful too. But again, those two really stood out to me as being Different. Yep. Different is good. Yeah. As long as the gameplay is there, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Thank you, like Metal Lunar. We had a lot of fun today, actually. Yeah. I did. Did you have a lot of fun? I had fun a lot of games? fun. Yeah. I actually think this is the first <laughs> one we've had where I've been like... There's so a, many good ones. So many of these games were interesting and good. Like, yeah. like And a little bit more complex or something. Lots of paddle games, too. Um, yeah. We haven't done... No, we played Empire Strikes Back already. Did we? Yeah, where you shoot the walkers. And you shoot them with the ships and behind the flashing dot on them. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that we was 82, that. Yep. I believe. Yeah. Um, yeah. There we go. And there. Pause. Stop. <laughs> Pause. Um, thank you for tuning in, yes. everybody. Metal Lunar 7, Vitelko, Dan, ABC, Tar 2600, Dude, RC70, BR Pocock, Charles Whelan, Nostalgic, Johnny the Whiz Kid. Uh, no idea where else to buy chips. I no, I, I don't buy chips, so I don't know where to buy chips. No, <laughs> so maybe ask Other than on Taiwan. <laughs> I'm sure if Opco doesn't know where to buy chips, it's going to be difficult to yeah. get them. Yeah, and probably not many other people would know. Yeah, uh, Larry VGS, thank, thank you, you for, for chatting, chatting for yeah. the first time. Robo Robocat 2084, nice, nice name, <laughs> Dave MAZ. Um, Lord Munkus. Lord Munkus, Colonel Lama, Colonel Go for Lama. Man 96. Yeah. Lots of chatters. Lots today. of chatters today. Yeah. Good games. Yes. Lots of things Keeps to chat about. People hanging around and yeah. watching as opposed uh, to last nostalgic, time. Nostalgic, if you didn't already say. I think so. Lots of people. Oh, Atari 800 XL rules. Nice. 
and Colonel Lama, if I haven't said it already. Yeah. Oh, thank you for watching them. It's fun going through every single Atari yeah. game because <laughs> I don't know a lot of them. And after this, no. I'll know all of them. All of them. We'll have played all of them. And, you know, it's maybe for exciting. the... 50th we'll do all the prototype ones because there's a bunch oh of God. prototypes yeah. that weren't finished or like 99% finished or they just weren't released. Yeah. Like Pink Panther was 100% done. Yeah, but never got released. Never got released. No, no. And that one was released. Uh, put out, given out to the public and dumped and you can play with it now. Play it now. As GopherMan96 says, more fun to chat with good games. There's only so much to say when it's all shovelware. Yeah, it's yeah. like, this sucks. Yeah. Blech. Everything yeah. about it sucks. <laughs> Nothing to say. Yeah. Um, so we'll be back on Friday I with a show. I don't have it planned yet. I don't know what we're going to play. Is it but Darcy week or my week? Your week. My Darcy week. was here last week. Gotcha. Um, so I don't know what console we're going to do or what games we're going to do. Okay. So I'll have to dig because it's the summer and <laughs> not a lot of games are being developed. Yep. Um, oh, 2600. Hello. Hello. Like your new shooter. Keep at it. Keep developing it. I like shooters for the 7800. He just put one out. Yeah. A video of it. Like the bare bones. Yep. The starting. Um, nice. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Keep on it. Yeah. More shooters. <laughs> um, and we will back, be back on Friday with more games. Yay. So um, thanks for watching. Yeah. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.